welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, tonight we are making little uh, sugar blossom flowers. I know it's not the right time of the year, but um, in my group they asked me if I'd make a few of these for you. So we're going to make a few of these. We're going to make some really tiny little roses. Have you seen those, how cute they are? And then I was just playing with these. So I've made some little tiny sunflowers. Yeah, and some more little roses, little peonies, and some other little things. So I just thought I'd show you how to make these tonight and decorate a cake with them. And some little daisies there. So um, I don't know what you think of those. So Karen's on comments. Hi, Karen. Good evening. <laughs> and Simon is on camera duty today. So uh, let us know that you're here. Let us know where you're from. Say a big hello. And do like and share for a £25 voucher. So let's be in for a good night. Now, on Thursday, Cicely was in the kitchen and she made a yummy chocolate cake. So we froze it. I've just taken it out of the freezer about, was that an hour ago, Karen, I think? Absolutely. And uh, we're going to decorate this and then we're going to decorate it all with some flowers as well. So what I'm going to do is get this started off first, show you how to make some buttercream. And I think I'll cover it with a Swiss meringue buttercream. That so, sounds yummy. <laughs> so I think I'll cover it with that first. So I've got a batch on, so let's get that on. And while you're all getting together, we can answer some questions. And then we'll make some flowers and things, because this can go in the fridge then and cool down. So, um, and then for my girls who are in the buttercream flowers class tomorrow, ta-da, look at that. <laughs> so, <laughs> you won't believe it, but I've actually organised myself. Instead of doing it half an hour before we go live or something. So, um, we do, I've used the 104. We are going to use the 125. It will be better. But um, I just thought, you know what, I'll just quickly get these out now. So, this is what we're doing in buttercream flowers class. Plus, um, what's the other flower that we're doing, Karen? A camellia. A camellia, yeah. So, we'll make it. I haven't got one of those to show you. That's but, amazing, uh, Karen. Are you taking the mick at you? <laughs> <laughs> I... You're not in the right group. You're in the oh, no. recipes. Yeah. Yes. Both. <laughs> John doesn't know the new streaming. <laughs> Off you go, John. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> He's just come flying in. Going, <laughs> Okay, though, so for those ladies who uh, follow us and use our flavoured icing sugars, I've set up a new group called Cake Recipes, and it's all recipes using with our flavoured icing sugars. I've still got to tidy it up yet. I have got somebody in mind who's going to come in and look after that group for me, providing she's able to do it. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of a training session with her on Friday. And um, basically, I've just set the recipes up so that when Karen's streaming or I'm streaming or anything like that, it can go straight into the recipes and then we can pin it into units. And it all means that you can add your cakes and bakes. And well done, Viv Goddard, as well. So Karen's only baked egg custard tartlets this morning and they were amazing. I have to tell you, probably at about five already. <laughs> and then Viv's done them, but I'll show them you and then we'll get back to what we're talking about. And thank you, girls. Uh, the lovely new intro. Because oh, we, we, we went, yeah, we went live this morning with the, my live uh, first thing with the new intro, and Carol's intro. Isn't it really good that new intro? It's posh. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to sort ourselves out. Yes, we are. So Karen made these this morning, and I have to tell you, she's made some at her, she made some at home, made a batch this morning, which had already had a couple, and then these, what she made fresh with you, and then she cut them on the live, and they've gone in the fridge. They are so super, super yummy. I can't even begin to tell you how nice they are, apart from she's going to have to get them out of the building on I the way home tonight. I have that broken one now. You can have them all, Karen. So. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they're yummy. So if you want to know how to make these, and I watched the live myself this morning, in, and they were super duper easy to make weren't they really easy really nice and the recipes on the website now yeah that's what she was doing while we when we did the intro before she was popping the recipe on so make sure you give them a go and well done bib for yours let's put those away a minute right so uh shannon's tried the orange zest in the chocolate cake she tried cicely's chocolate cake she right really you liked it. it good 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 yeah so let me just get back to this then so buttercream flowers what do you think of these girls this is what we're going to be making tomorrow can you believe it i'm super duper organized very pretty 
Yeah, so it's nice on the top of the cake or just around the side of the cake, isn't it? I've done it on a board. I don't think these are going to go on the cupcake, if I'm really honest, unless we did it with a really tiny 102 nozzle and a very small nozzle. But we can give it a go tomorrow. You know what the class is like. We give everything a go. So I'm just going to pop those out of the way there. I'll put them back in the freezer afterwards. And then, Karen, can you pass me a turntable, please? Absolutely, which one would you like? So, I don't mind. You don't mind? Oh. Anyone will do, that will do. So uh, we're going to get this cake ready, crumb coat this cake with the Swiss Meringue buttercream. Let me get some of the stuff out of the way and then I'm going to show you how to make Swiss Meringue buttercream as well with our mix, which is super. Then we'll make some little flowers and then the cake will be... Um... Do you know what? when you put everything down and you know you've got it, so I'm looking for scissors. Yeah. <laughs> we, we saw them together. Yeah. I was like, I'm sure I had them in my hand a few minutes ago. Sicily's watching, she said, yay. Hi. She said she's happy that you're using the cake and Absolutely. the cake. Absolutely. This kitchen smelt gorgeous on Thursday. And Cicely is coming back on the 22nd of October. She's going to show you how to get that. I'm not going to show you. Oh, God, it smells so nice. nice. And that mm. smells very chocolatey. Doesn't oh. it? Look at that. Wow. So, and then let's get this one off. Your eyeballing was a bit off though, Sicily, look. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, they're very nice. I, I did think that when I was wrapping them up. <laughs> <laughs> but they smell delicious, you know, oh, they do, yeah. when I was wrapping them. Yeah, they do, they do, they do. Well, poor Lisa, she says she loved they like the egg custard's watching. She says she's going to be 30 stone between me and you. Tell me. Keep showing them. Tell me. Honestly, the amount of you ladies I do speak to you, your camera just can't stop eating it. But you know what? We're all going to grow happy together. That's what you have to think. We're the happy, happy group, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so let me just get rid of all the rubbish a minute. Okay. And then I was thinking, Karen, would you put jam on to put this together? Or would you just put buttercream in between it? It's really lovely. If it's very moist, I don't think you need anything else in it. Just put buttercream in it. Just put buttercream itself because it looks a, a gorgeous moist cake, that. And, oh. mm. So I was going to try a different way of buttercream in my cake today. Now, I don't know whether this way works, so before you start laughing your reds off, just behave. So let me go and get a grip of that a minute. What's that mean? Sister said she was under pressure, so she couldn't get, she didn't eyeball it too good. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was struggling to look over the top, wasn't she? <laughs> I know, just how she feels. Yeah. I always tell her about the, about the, uh, the flower in this morning and I could do the little step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm going to put this cake on here. Take this off here. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of a screen. Let me move my coffee out of the way. So much stuff in the kitchen. We had uh, Joe Griffin in the kitchen on Friday doing Halloween cake toppers. They were brilliant. Where are they? In fact, let's show you them. So you can still join this group, by the way, if you want to do this. £20, look at this and all what you learn in this class. It is amazing. So I don't know how well Simon can see the camera there. But you've got your cauldron, look, the little eyeballs, your broom, bigger eyeballs, witch's hat, pumpkins, gravestone. Can you see them from the other camera over there, Simon? Can't if I lift it. it that way. Which one do you want to go on? That white one, will it go on? That one. If I lift it that way. Look at them. Aren't they brilliant? £20 for that class. So, uh, really very busy class. Lots of members in there as well. So, if you want to join that, you can still watch that. And you learn everything that's on this tray. Yeah. So, that's one, two, one, two, three, four. And all the other little embellishments as well. That goes with it. Right, so let's move that out of the way. So, what was I doing, Karen? I was going to... You was going to buttercream, you was going to put That's right. buttercream. I had to, come on, I had to think with you then. <laughs> what was he going to do? <laughs> we are ladies of a certain age. <laughs> right. So, I'm just going to pop that on, take that off there. Take that off there. And now I've got my cloth to wipe my hands on. Let's get the Swiss Meringue buttercream on. So, I just need another palette knife. Yeah, the Halloween toppers was a really fun class. Everyone thoroughly enjoyed it, and they're saying on here that they really enjoyed oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see. So thanks, though. Anyhow, I've put Jo's um, second Christmas class on now. So she's got Christmas class part one and Christmas class part two. 
Um, so it's two separate classes that you buy into. They're both great and I'll show you them shortly. But let's get on with the live and show everybody what we're doing here at the moment. So, uh, so this is a batch of Swiss meringue uh, buttercream that Karen did for me this morning. So she did it on the live. It was one that batch that she'd taken out of the fridge. And then uh, she brought it back together. But it didn't come back together while it was in the live. It came back together about 10 minutes after. So I'm going to use this batch. But then I'll make a fresh batch as well. So we're just going to put that on there. So somehow you can pipe it round as well if you want to. So if you want to do a nice big pipe layer, feel free. And this cake's really chocolatey. So I could cut layers, but I'm not going to. You can't. So I'm just going to be naughty and I'm going to turn it that way. Yeah. So I'm going to turn it that way. I'm going to get my piping bag. And normally I would use a bigger bag. But uh, for some reason I don't seem to have any in the kitchen not that I can see. So uh, I'm going to use this small one. So I don't, I've never normally crumb coated with uh, Swiss meringue buttercream. But I thought I'll give it a go tonight. So, uh, how is comments, Karen? How are we doing? Yeah, we do. We've got a lovely audience watching us. Have we really? Oh, yes, we certainly <laughs> have. And uh, Marty was just saying, how did you get the, the cake such a dark colour? She, uh... Right. So, you'll need to watch Thursday's live with Cicely. So, on Thursday, we have Cicely Sutherland in. And this is her, as she calls it, famous chocolate orange cake. So, uh, and it's a gooey chocolate orange cake. I have to tell you, it smells amazing. Okay. Smells amazing. And um, I popped it in the freezer. Well, Karen popped it in the freezer. She made it Thursday night, so it was cooling. And then Karen popped it in the freezer for me on Friday. So we've just taken it out about less than an hour before we've gone live. When's Karen Davis? bringing a new Christmas mould, do you know? She'll kill me if I keep asking her. Um, I do believe if everything goes all right and she gets all her photographs done, she'll be in the kitchen next Monday. Mm -hmm. um, she's struggling to get the photographer in. So that's all it is. The moulds are all ready, everything's ready. But she was struggling for um, getting them in. So she should be in next Monday. That's when she's booked. So hopefully, fingers crossed, she will be. If not, I'll be sending Simon across to take photos. <laughs> I have told her that as well so don't worry about it i'll send simon we won't have a delay and my order's in as well so she's got all my stock to one side so do not worry and how fab was it to watch on cake flicks on saturday using our pink board did anybody spot it so i've got a few messages there saying that karen was on and uh she had our pink board so karen's well pressed with well impressed with the pink board well, that makes two Karens then. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I am just going to firm this up a little bit, smooth this up a little bit, then I'm going to pop it in the freezer to firm up. So it's much smoother this as well, so it's nice. Everyone's liking and sharing, so don't forget, ladies, yeah. like and share, like and share to in the chance to win a £25 gift voucher. Yeah, and I need to draw some vouchers tonight. I haven't done them yet. I kept saying I'd do them and then I forgot. I don't know what was going on with it. Oh, it was all classes last week, it wasn't was, it? It was constant, yeah. Yeah, so it was constant. I think, we did we have a class every day? Every yeah. And um, so it was, it was mad busy and then I just forgot to do it. And you know what? I forgot to do it now, so we'll do it live tonight. So, Karen, we'll have to have a reminder where we're up to. For the draw because did we say we'd do them all on Thursday and I hadn't done them yes so that means it was the last Thursdays before yes Mondays you didn't do any lives last week did you nope. so we've got the Thursdays before Mondays this Thursdays and we may as well do this morning haven't we yeah. Get them out of the way, or will that muck it up for people who have not watched it and like yeah, maybe some, some are gonna watch yeah. it tomorrow so yeah okay now Gemma says Gemma Bush Karen's showing her mould tomorrow at 12pm. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, I've not read my emails. Maybe she's just selling it. She's showing it. Has she released it yet? Because normally she sends me an email, and I've already had a conversation with her over the weekend that she's got mine reserved. So, uh... And 
and they say she was fantastic on Saturday and a pink board. <laughs> and a pink board, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And Lynn, Lynn Toff said she loves a pink board. She used it yesterday and she tried cinnamon, cinnamon swirl icing. Loves Ooh. it. Cinnamon swirl swirl icing is gorgeous. So let's get this in the fridge. Calm down a little bit. So you know I like the rustic look, ladies. I don't go in for all that flat smoothing. There's no point stressing yourself out. If you can't, if you can't crumb coat a cake, don't bother. Just do this. Well, that looks all alright. All those professionals will be out there going, what? And we've got another draw to do with tonight as well, Carol. I forgot the GBBO. That was done on Thursday. That's on Thursday. Yeah, we did it on Thursday night. It was a lady called Karen who won it. I have put an announcement in that drawer. Cicely picked the winner. So if you were watching on Thursday, go back, you'll see it. Cicely picked the winner. It's a lady called Karen. Who's asking the question? Your John. My John? Yeah. Oh, does he not know? <laughs> Did I not tell him? <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> go back and watch the live. <laughs> I think he went to bed, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> That's your suggestion, is it, Carol? What? Go back and watch the live. Yeah. Not, not I can't work. remember it was. It was a lady not called Karen. <laughs> I've yeah. just, just answered him now. Not talk to your wife occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> that is wife, is it? She's not his wife. I'm no, his wife. No, but, no, they're like ships that pass in the night. They're like yeah. care of them. You're, it was your channel, wasn't it? It was yeah, my channel, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never talked to him. <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> and the only time we get a chance to talk to John is at weekend. Otherwise, we just don't really see each other. He's, a, he's out in the morning, I'm out. Both do different things, don't we? Right, okay. So I think that will do. The, kink, the pink board showing out of stock on the website. How it is. Lynn order one? Right, just hold on. The guy who makes them for me was on holiday last week, so he's got stacks of them. So he's back in work today, and he said I should have a delivery, hopefully, fingers crossed, on Friday. So do not worry. Okay, right. Lisa Miles Darcy, her daughter asked if she could top an onion on the new board. She's only really passed out. But she did. I would have passed out as well. <laughs> Let me get rid of all this. All the rubbish. Right, so I'm just passing out, wondering how I'm going to get this off here. But anyway, yeah, we'll worry about that in a second. Oh, I don't want to stick the turntable in, do I? Apparently, it's, Gemma's saying it's a live release Karen's doing on her page. Oh, is it a release? Is she actually releasing release. it or is she just showing it? She said it's a live release. Ah, oh, right, okay then, no worries. Right, well, maybe I've not read the email yet. Not exactly been looking at them. I've been in here all day. But I'll give her a call first thing in the morning because I was chatting to her this morning, so... Good, good. Right. Well, what's just said? What's the difference in buttercreams? In the butter, this is very nice and glossy so it's nice glossy smooth very easy to put on you put one coat on first I, I mean some you can smooth it you know let's give it a smooth <laughs> let's give it a smooth well chris great thanks she used it they used a little roll on the weekend they were well impressed oh the little roll is a different story yeah, isn't it? yeah. they were well impressed with that yeah. so they think they were watching because this lady used it yeah. on thursday yeah the little roll is brilliant. Now, if you're going to use it for the Swiss meringue buttercream, don't use it until it's been in the fridge. Crikey, I've done a good job of that for a change. Absolutely. Freaking shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. So. There you go. Right, we're going to put that in the fridge. Let that firm up. Let's see how we get over there. That can go over there for a minute. And then I am going to pick this up off this thing here. Hold on. Have we had any word when we're getting the new aprons in yet, Carol? Yes, they're arriving this week. Woohoo! Yep. Yeah. So they arrived with the Sunday girls. The Sunday girls are, we're really sorry that it's taken so long for them to arrive. 
but they arrived with the Sunday girls, I think Friday. So she said to me she was checking them over. I'm gonna to have to get this gripper off here now. She was checking them over and she hoped to be dispatching them to me today or tomorrow. So fingers crossed. Sorry, I need to concentrate on this cake, don't I? We don't want you all laughing because I've dropped it. I was going to say until you did it, but Leslie says, wow, a Carol expert or what? <laughs> and I thought, I'm not saying nothing until you put it on the board. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> so let's get that out of the way. Let's smooth it up a bit. So what are we going to want me now in a minute? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to pop it in the fridge now, to be fair, and then we can fill the rest in afterwards, let it firm up. It's quite important with the Swiss meringue buttercream that you let it go in the fridge. So because we want to speed it up faster, we're going to put it in the freezer. Yes, they're very pretty as well, and they are very pretty. People are very excited about getting them. So the Sunday Girls have done me a design for the new aprons. Um, I think there's three styles come in. So you've got the nice frilly one, um, and then you've got one with like a petticoat thing underneath, and then the butcher's apron one. The butcher's apron one's for me. Big girls can't have me in a frilly one. Are you having a frilly one? <laughs> so um, as soon as they arrive, arrive, I'm going to do one as a prize, actually, because I think you'll all like that. Right, so let me clean up my mess and then I'm going to show you how to make some Swiss meringue buttercream because a few of you have got confused this weekend so I had to come and help you out. So a couple of phone calls I had to make and we solved it all. Everybody didn't lose anything. So um, it's dead easy to make. There was one method we was making it by and then, then another method came up by our lovely man behind the camera, Simon. So, and... Uh, his smile, look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> have I done that? Smug. <laughs> oh, I've done no, no, we're just talking about how you came up with the, using the beta for the uh, yeah. Swiss meringue buttercream. Right, oh, let me get rid of this. You mean like months ago? Yes, yes, well, we did. But you keep bringing it up, saying that, yeah. and I said show everyone a few weeks ago as soon as they come in as soon as they come in seriously i'll let you know in the group so uh, i'll model one for you yeah <laughs> right so what we're going to do is um have we got a packet of swiss mango cream by the way karen so your butter needs to be room temperature i think are they not down there they? yeah yeah so uh butter needs to be room temperature room temperature means when you put a palette knife on it, it's really nice and soft. Look, really spreadable. And you put your fingers on it, look. Yeah. What flavour do you like? What flavour have you got? I've got lemon and velvet flour, cherry bake well, honey yeah. drizzle. Yep. Um, velvet vanilla. I love the velvet, velvet vanilla. Sorry? Velvet vanilla, because the other one was velvet vanilla. Are you doing 500 grams? Yeah. Uh, you want the look? Yeah, because it's four or 500 gram bag, isn't it? I don't need to make 500 no. no, I will make 500 grams worth, really? to be fair. Okay. How much have you got there? Not 500 No, grams. to be fair, Karen, yeah. stop it. Just give me the bag of eggs. Okay. Give me <laughs> while I think about it. And, um, right, okay. So, I would normally do a full bag, but we've already got a batch made, so I only need half a bag. So, on the packet of the bag, it will tell you to do, for a full bag, 500 grams of butter okay and then the full bag of the whipping it up now some of you may have the old label on where it was only half a bag but i decided to change it change it to the new method of doing things and i'll give you the ingredients for the full amount so if you only ever want the half just half the ingredients if any of you have got this old um way of doing things where it tells you to whisk it all first and then add water and then add cubes of butter forget that idea all right we're going to forget that idea this idea is much easier so you pop your butter onto the whisk attachment onto the whisk attachment onto the mixer okay you're going to turn it on 
I'm going to turn it on until it's uh, light and whippy. Okay. Then we're going to pour 250 grams of the mixture into this. One second, I'll get you Friday, um, anybody who's placed orders for the sale, we deliberately took off um, priority shipping. When the sale order comes in, it goes completely crazy. So I would expect that if you, unless you pick DPD next day, I would say expect 10 days before you get your delivery. You could be lucky, could be sooner, but there may be some flavours you might have to wait for. Um, we ran out, um, a we ran out of flavoured ice and sugars on Saturday. I had to restock up again. And then we ran out again yesterday and I had to restock up again. So depending where you are, we are packing orders as fast as we can, but we are closed Saturdays and Sundays. So the lads are actually in the warehouse from 7 this morning. They're working till 10 tonight and they're doing everything, everything they can. They're doing that for five days. So they're doing what they can to get everything out as fast as they can. So be patient, please. Right. So 250 grams of the um, butter, nice and soft, okay. So any more comments, Cameron? No, Michelle saying, <coughs> every time she watches the line, she spots the hedgehog in the background. Yeah. She obviously can't help but laugh again and just flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> I have flashbacks too, don't worry about it. Uh, so I'm now going to put half the bag of the uh, whipping it up in. So whipping it up is going out to the trade this week. I think it goes out to the trade this week or early next week. So quite a lot of trade stockers are stuck in it. So it should be with quite a few people by the back end of next week. Yeah, there we go. Right, so, so because we've already made one batch of butter, I only need one, another one. I was nearly going to make a double batch, but I don't need to. So we're going to whip the butter so it's light and fluffy, turn it up, 250 grams of butter and then I need 135 mils of water. So make sure you zero your scales and it's grams and mils are the same when it's the liquid. So we've got 135. So I've got 137, it doesn't matter. Right, let's get that out of the way. And then, um, here, let go, I've lost something. So I've got that there, I've got that there. I need a spatula. Hold on, hold that space. my butter's going, like it to be really nice and whippy. And then I'm just going to go through in a second, I'm just going to scrape the butter down. And then I'll just go through again what it is we're doing. Okay. So is butter and whipping up the same amount? Yeah. So this is the easiest way, do not use your whisk attachment, okay? Use your beater. You use your whisk attachment. Your whisk attachment is when we first made it into meringue. So first you made it into meringue, and then you added the um, the butter. You don't need to do that anymore. And we did it once by accident. To be fair, Simon had already suggested that we do it this way. And then in the kitchen, I think it's about a week or two after. Karen is so used to making the flavoured icing sugars, and she was chatting away in the kitchen and. Um, 
she's got whipping it up in her hand, she's whipped up all the butter and then she just poured a whole bag of whipping it up in. And then she's still talking, I went, Karen, you've just put whipping it up in. And she was like, oh, so then we had to give it Simon's method and it worked, so it was fine. Um, um, Angie, Angie Bradbury says she's bought too many ice and sugars and some are now out of date. Right, okay, bought too many ice and sugars and some are now out of date. I think she's been buying them and buying them and buying them and buying them. Ah, oh, right, so do you mean you bought them a long time ago? So let me just explain about ice and sugar, and all of you can go on to Google and check this out. There's nine types of food that doesn't go out of date, okay? And ice and sugar, sugar is one of them, all right? So sugar does not go out of date. It can only be destroyed. So um, people who use um, the dates best before dates, it's just a guideline. What it is, it's to encourage sales. It's so that you use it, you don't need it in the cupboard for years, and come back and use it again. And um, in 2026, the government are hoping to abolish, abolish the best before date system. And the reason for that is there is, I think, I can't remember how many uh, millions of pounds worth of food is thrown in the bin every year which is perfectly fine there's actually nothing wrong with it so if your rice and sugar is in your bag and it's fine don't matter whether your bag is open or or whatever it will be absolutely fine the only thing is with your bag if it's open it might have collected a little bit of moisture through the winter month all you need to do is just sieve it and throw away any granules away that's all yeah so don't worry about anything about best before date. There's no legal requirement to reduce the price of anything that's gone past the best before date either. And that's with quite a lot of foods. And I'm, I, I, I'm happy to stand and tell you that on a live. Go and Google it. It's very easy. Michelle, <coughs> Michelle Wells. Hi, Carol. Should I put my decorated cupcakes with a wicked guitar in the fridge or will the cupcakes spoil? Please advise. No, you can pop them in the fridge. I put all my cakes in the fridge. So whenever I decorate cupcakes, I put them all in the fridge. And then if I'm, I don't sell cakes, but I do give them away to family, friends, the guys at work, all the other people on our unit, the old folks home might take some, the local police station takes some, um, the nurses, the district nurses take some, and they're all quite happy to take them. But they all go in the fridge until I go and deliver them. And then I take them out of the fridge. Uh, it's like I, I went to the hairdressers on Saturday. I just took it out of the fridge. And I just said, just give it an hour to warm up. And it, you know, it was ready in an hour. The time I'd had my hair done, it was ready to slice. It was beautiful. Yeah. So this is whipping it up. So I'd normally like to beat my butter a little bit longer than this, but I feel that I could be stood here for a while. You know, it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? So I'm going to go for it now, okay? So once you've got your 250 grams of butter in, you then drop in your 250 grams of whipping it up. Now, our whipping it up is white in colour. We don't do any colours whatsoever, so you can colour it whatever, whatever colour you want to. Um, it's natural. It's 100% it's natural, and it's allergen-free apart from the fact that it's got egg in it, so it's not suitable for vegetarians, okay? So if you have an ant, vegans. So if you... Oh, well done, Simon. Do you know what? I love it when you're listening. I was just testing you there. Just to double check, you you're so quiet. Right, don't you, Carol? Well, it's because you sat there so quiet today, isn't it? So I just thought, you know what? I'll just check him. Is it quite as a bird? Have you got a sore throat or something? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so it's not suitable for vegans, this product. The icing sugars are, the flavoured icing sugars are, but um, this one isn't. So, uh, white in colour, you can colour it any colour you want. We're going to keep it white. You can use powder colour to colour it or liquid uh, gels. Entirely up to you. So we've chopped it in, okay? Now do not pour the water in now, okay? So if you pour the water in now, all you're gonna do is have a sloppy mix and then it's gonna slip slop everywhere and it's gonna cause you a massive problem, okay? So let's get it back on the mixer. Incorporate it. I'm just gonna turn it on there. Right, and now we're going to start adding the water. Okay, let me just check out. I've got the right one, haven't I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to start adding the water, a little bit at a time, just a trickle. Let it incorporate. Turn up the mixer. Okay. Don't go mad. Do not throw it all in at once. Okay. Now the Swiss, uh, the whipping oil mixture is actually a multi mix. It was designed to be a multi mix. It was going to start its life as royal icing. 
and then pavlovas, and then mer uh, meringues and pavlovas. And then we realised that we could make um, Swiss meringue buttercream with it, biscuits with it, mousse. Karen's developed fluff. My daughter's uh, done roulade with it. I've done macarons with it. So, you know, that's what we wanted to do with it. So it's an all-in-one uh, mix. And all you have to do most of the time is just add water. It's exactly the same as our flavoured icing sugars, except our flavoured icing sugars, you have to add egg. So, you know, what we've done is added the egg for you. Okay? Egg white. Um, the water needs to be tepid at room temperature. Not hot, not cold, just tepid. Okay. Um, the mixture that the egg white is egg white and it's all from free range eggs as well. There's no nuts involved and there's no gluten. Okay. So look what's happening. So you see, just hold it, just go a little bit at a time, let it incorporate. Can you see that it's coming through, away from the bowl now? So you can add a little bit more. Now, if you feel that it gets a little bit sloppy and you don't want to add as much water, feel free not to. But I would prefer you to just carry on, adding a little bit at a time, let it incorporate. Do not keep pouring it in, just let it incorporate, okay? If you pour it in, it's going to slip slop everywhere. You all know that chant, don't you? Slip slop everywhere. I have these funny little chants, so you know about it. Let it take it all in. We have a little bit more patience, and it will taste amazing. So we've got eight flavours out at the moment. Uh, we've got uh, velvet vanilla, strawberry, um, salty caramel, lemon drizzle, white chocolate and raspberry. I think coconut's back on the list, isn't it, Karen? It is, yes. It is, yes. Um, I can't think of the other flavours at the moment. And then we've got some random flavours that we were trying out. Black cherry. Um, but there you go, look, look how easy it is. That's how easy it is to make it. So just keep adding the water slowly. I don't know if you can see me adding the water actually. Yeah, Simon's got me, I'm showing you. Yeah, so there's my last drop of water. In it goes. Okay. I'm just going to turn it up. And turn it up. And then you're going to see it start coming away from the bowl. It's all incorporated, it's done. Go. You'll see big gaps around the bowl where it's coming away. And if, we're, if we're lucky, we might hear the changing sound on the mixer. I think it's actually done, actually. There we go. And there you go. You can see how lovely, glossy and creamy it is. Look at it. Look at that. So, that, you know, not everybody loves this type of mix, but it, it's just different. It's nice. So, go on, Karen. Yeah, Samantha's got, Samantha Wilkins got a question. She yeah. says, could you add egg white powder to icing sugars to use a different flavour and would you put it together the same way as SMBC? Yeah, exactly so. There you go, and we've got it there, so we're done. And it's just saying, how long do you beat it for? So, well, I beat the butter for quite a while until it was lovely and soft. I don't know if you can see the overhead there, Simon. Okay, and then I think, what was that beating for? Was that for about three or four minutes, yes. five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, so it's done. It's ready. It's does done. it crust up like normal butter? No, it doesn't. That's the thing. It doesn't crust up. It means that you can alter it and tidy it so it's not like normal buttercream. Uh, and it never crusts up either. So when you decorate a cake, the next day you can still stick things on it if you want to. Right, okay, so that's there. Uh, let me get my chair. Let's see what we're going to make with this cake today. So first of all, I thought I would show you how to make some little flowers. So then we'll have to put them back in the freezer. So uh, I thought I'd show you how to make a few of these little cherry blossoms. I've not finished them yet. Okay, so little roses. So I don't know whether how well Simon could see those. Yep, so we've got teeny weeny little roses here. Okay, little teeny ones, little cherry blossoms here as well. So I need to pop some little dots. Now what you can do with these is you can either, um, sorry about my finger as well, I burnt myself in the oven this weekend, great fun. So um, 
you can either put like little hundreds and thousands on here if you wanted to or you could just paint them on little dots and I'm just going to paint them on afterwards and then we've got these little roses and then just have a little play of doing these little tiny sunflowers now they're not all the same size as you can see because I haven't mastered the art of them but they're cute though aren't they so they're cute and tiny aren't they so and then add a little go at playing with making some little daisies as well some more cherry blossoms some more roses so I'm going to get Simon to pop these in the freezer and in the fridge because they need to stay firm because they melt very quickly yeah so there you go Simon James asking can you add metallic dust to the SMBC to no. make it pearlescent you can't add it you can't add any metallic dust to, to anything that's got liquid in it or um, cream or anything it will just watch me cake there in there so and then that one can that one can go in the fridge Thanks very much. Yeah, no, you just in the fridge, yeah. Great. Uh, no, if you have pearl, you'll just lose it, that's all. You're best off afterwards spraying it with um, a pearlescent spray. That would be the best thing, or get your airbrush on it or something like that. Having said that, Karen was doing macarons this afternoon and she lusted these up. So I don't know when you can see these over here, Simon. So she had a look, see that, what lust did you use on that one, Karen? It was Rose Quartz, Fake Hill. Oh, Rose Quartz, and what did you do on this one? Misty Blue, Fake Hill. Misty Blue, Hill. yeah. I love so Fake Hill. You went, you, went for the big, uh, you went for the big macrons today, didn't you? I went for the, okay. I went, I went for the, the Claire size. Yeah, so Claire Corbett <laughs> was in the kitchen this week, and she did a class on macarons. So a bit different to the way I do it, but I was actually following her method. But you know, when you follow a method, you should really follow it. And I hadn't followed it fully anyhow. But she does a class on macarons and you may well have seen it. And all the ladies who were in that group, come on, tell them how fabulous it was. She tells you how to make it the traditional way, uh, shows you how to make it the traditional way. And she also shows you how to uh, make it using whipping it up. So I've got some uh, buttercream here got my tray and I just need the parchment paper. It's back in the cupboard. Back in the cupboard. Of course it is. Back in another couple of sheets. Right, those. Put the sheets out. Aren't you bring the new Christmas flavours out? Yeah. Are you bringing it out in the are you bringing it out in the whipping it up as well? Um, you know that's a good idea, I hadn't really thought of that to be fair. So the new flavours are in, okay, so the new flavours are, they're not ready to be released yet because we've got to do all the sale orders and then whipping it up has been made as well so it's a bit manic at the moment um, and then we are hoping to be in production for the new Christmas flavours, fingers crossed, Friday or Monday um, and the new flavours are pumpkin spice Irish cream and rum and raisin. Rum and raisin. Yes. Yeah. So and they're delicious. They're absolutely delicious. Yeah. All right then. So we've got our paper. Let's do this. Um, oh, I'm going to make the tiny ones. I've already I've already cut some for the tiny ones. Right. Okay. So let's do that out of the way. So I've cut some for the tiny ones. Here we go. There's the bowl. So we need a little bowl of tiny ones that were already pre-cut. Um, we need one of these bags couple of, I think you have everything organised and then it just all disappears in front of you, doesn't it? So we're going to do that, 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 that. Go on, Karen. No, it's just I'm laughing at you saying me. we organise and, and you go to look for it and you think just you can never find it, can you? It. So it's like me, I'm, I know I'm going to have a blind spot now trying to find the nozzles that I'm looking for. So the nozzles that I want to look for is, I knew he freaking won't be here, just one second, I've got him in the bag there. Oh, there you are. What am I like? They're already bagged up. <laughs> that's because that's how in front you are. <laughs> don't worry, girls. Don't worry, girls. They're already bagged up. So, <laughs> so um, yes. So the nozzle I'm using here. Now, this is a left-handed nozzle, and I'm not left-handed. And this is the 59 SL. Sell these in a set of three. Um, and I also think they may come in this Wilton set. I'm not sure. Did you have a look see if they came in this Wilton set? The 59 SL. The 59 S is in that one, yes. Yeah. So there's that one, and there's also one by PME that we use as well, a very small one. But it's a really tiny nozzle, and I don't even think Simon will be able to show you it because it's that tiny. Yeah? Yeah, just, just about can see, see it, can it. you? Hands up if your screen is at yeah. that I'm just trying to hide it there so you can. See on the nozzle, yeah. But anyhow, if you squirt it a little bit of um, 
Michelle Ward. Read through it. You, you'd show it a bit better. Right, okay, Simon. Michelle Ward, she says she's not sure she's not liking this, this not winging it. This winging it? <laughs> no, because you're not winging I'm it I'm a true professional tonight, too Michelle. <laughs> there we go. So just, uh, listen, it can all go horribly wrong very soon. <laughs> So I don't know. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. I, I wouldn't say that I was doing it tonight. I'm just organised today. I think Karen had a bit of a shock that I spent the day with her in the kitchen. But to be fair, I came down on my computer this morning. I did what I had to do on my computer, and then I said to Karen, "Right, that's it. I'm coming in here with you." Oh no! <laughs> I did stay in the office until she'd done the live, and then I came in after the live. I think I've had about four uh, of uh, the. Um, what they called custard tart things. Oh, custard yeah. tart. Um, so yeah, Maureen's Bailey say, is there is there a coupler for the nifty nozzles? Right. Okay. So for the big nifty nozzles, no, there isn't, and I wouldn't recommend using them. I'm going to explain this to you now. I'll quickly show you. Right. So there's lots of companies selling these big giant nozzles. Look, big giant ones. You get them here. You get them here. Look. Look at this one. Look at this. And this gorgeous. Tells you it's got three little things for three different colours. Complete waste of money, girls. Don't buy it. I tell you, next time you come to my, next time you come or you're on an or you've got an order, just tell me. I'll throw it in. You'll never thank me for it. That's how rubbish they are. Um, what they, this does, this comes away in three parts. You have to take this off. You've got to put a bag around each one of these. Fasten them back in again. Okay, and these will fit the small nifty nozzles. They don't fit the big ones, so they fit the minis. Oh, it's like in fact, a puzzle, isn't it? it's like yeah, a puzzle. in fact, it might fit the larger ones actually. Then you've got to get that on, fasten it on. Okay, now don't forget, you've got three bags of pipe, you've got three bags of buttercream dangling around here. So please tell me how you're going to get three bags of buttercream and squeeze it. Now you could drop all those free bags into one piping bag if you think that's going to make it easy, but your bag is just going to be massive. Complete waste of time. Seriously, it really is. And uh, look, there's loads of them, different colours, different companies started doing them. Well, Shannon's happy because she was going to put one of those. No, don't. And uh, Lisa Booth says she's got one. She tried it once, never again. Never again. I, I don't lie. There's no reason for me to lie. They're a waste of money. Um, if I thought they were any good, I'd be selling them to you. Believe me, I would. Right, okay then, so we've got this little nozzle now, so we're just going to make some small roses. Now I don't know how zoomed in Simon can see, I'm going to put this tray here, so because we're a bit pink on pink, okay. So we're just going, now this is a left-handed nozzle, so I like, the, I like this one, even though I'm right-handed. So we're just going to do a little blob there, little blob. And then we're just going to do little semicircles, and we're going to pull it round, just nice and neat. Just little tiny roses. Yeah, and that's all you're going to do. A couple of times round. You take that off. Show you again. Because these are little tiny roses, don't forget. Keep, um, I always like you to have nice clean cloths as well. Not your dish cloths, just a set of cloths for when you're baking or cake decorating. You just do your little wiggle and then you just take it round. Now I'm having to look for some, some distance away because otherwise I'll be poking my head under the camera and then you'll see me bald bits and I don't want to see them. So I haven't got any bald bits actually, I've just got very thin hair. But um, so all you're going to do is just little semicircles going around. There we go. Try and make them the same size. They are fiddly and you have to make loads. I've already made loads, don't worry. I'm not going to sit here and make you suffer watching me make loads of these. Just let me clean. That last one was dodgy because I haven't cleaned my piping bag. So I've wiped it now. Go on, Karen. Yeah, Sheila, we do sell those little silver thingies. <laughs> The flower nail. Oh yeah, we sell the little. Yeah, these are called these are called a flower nail. Now these are the largest ones by the Queen of Hearts, and they're the best ones. They're also called. Uh, you can also use them in your large baking tins as well. So if you've got a large cake tin, it's classed as a heat corer. So I like them for the dome cake tin. You stick it in the bottom of the pan, okay? 
from the pan, pour all your mix over, bake your cake, and then the heat goes through it and cooks the inside of your cake, tip your cake out, and then you just pull that out. Yeah? Right, so we've done three of those. I think three is enough. Does anybody want me to see any more? Did you turn the heat enough, Carrie? I did, absolutely, right. yes. Well, I've got my magnet on, girls, <laughs> but I'm having a hot flush. So, Simon, open the door. So, <laughs> freezing. Tell me you cannot be freezing. Are you freezing, you? Seriously, are you freezing, Karen? Nope. I put my eating on last night. What time did you start work today? Hey. Hey. Well, you've been in here with me all day. Absolutely. Yeah. What time do you start work, Simon? <laughs> and he had loads of sit down. So he's only taken photo of the new products. Don't be giving it that he was working a lot. Right, let's do this last one. So a little wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then we're just going to go around. Round. and you can make these as small as you want look how tiny that is I'll take it off that paper there look how tiny that is there the little tiny rows so you can make these as big or as small as you want yeah okay so that's that one so I've already made some of those already so let's make you some little sunflowers now I can't get this nozzle for you but the ladies who have got the Wilton box who buy the Wilson box off me are going to be over the moon, okay? Because there's having a little rummage in here, and I was thinking, right, we need to use some of these nozzles because we haven't used them. So I thought, right, okay, let's see what we're going to use. And then I found this teeny weeny leaf tip, um, and I can't see what the number it is 349 teeny weeny weeny leaf tip i can't get them for you at the moment for anybody who wants to buy them on their own so it's only those ladies who've got this wilton box they'll have it in their box but anyhow i thought what we'll do is we'll make a little sunflower with it so just like you do a little tiny sunflower so we're just going to squeeze squeeze stop pull squeeze stop pull just tiny little leaves so if you can hear all the rain there, squeeze, stop, pull, squeeze, stop, pull. I should have probably drawn a little circle on here rather than a free hand. But don't know if you can see that okay. And then use your tiniest, tiniest, tiniest round nozzle. And this is a zero. And we're just going to fill that up there and then you have a little sunflower so those ladies who have been in my buttercream flowers class will know how to do these a so little sunflower so that's quite cute isn't it how big is that to my nail not very big is it it's tiny yeah so what was the left-handed tip you were using before so the left-handed tip is in the wilton tip um, and it's the free no, when it's not wait 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 it's not here it is let's find it it's the five nine s isn't it well I thought that uh, is it the left handed one is it because if the left handed is fifty nine L yeah so it's fifty nine S L yeah fifty nine S L and it comes in a set of three it does we do sell them on our website so uh, just double check what stock we got but I like this one it's just really easy as a right hander. To, to be able to go round like that with it. But otherwise, you could create little peonies with it then if you wanted to. So, uh, so let me just um, take that red off there. Saying they look so, these are so tiny, your flowers, they look Yeah, they're tiny, aren't they? So uh, let me just put a little bit of white on, just one second. Just a little bit of white. And then if you go the other way, can make yourself a little tiny peony so that's true so if we go the other way and my ladies in the buttercream flowers class go on who loves peonies <laughs> they all love peonies don't they they all know how to master them now and they all learned two-tone peonies last month i thought they looked beautiful was that in the cupcake bouquet class well here we go We've got a little tiny it's... baby peony oh. I don't know how well you can see that. But let me just take it off here and put it on my hand. Oops, sorry. Can you see that there? Okay, where's my blackboard? Vaguely. Vaguely. Where's blackboard won't make it any more visible. Will it not? No. That black card, what should we put it on then? Is that green? Okay, maybe get it a little. 
See it there? No, because you're off the picture now. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll chase you around, shall I? Yeah. Make everyone dizzy. Oh, I've gone and squashed me butter. I've gone and squashed me frigging sunflower now. I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> Good job. I'd already spent all day making some, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. So they do take a while, these, anyhow. So they're tiny, aren't they? Okay. So what am I going to show you then with those? So if we move if we move that over so i know some of you ladies will be thinking well this is pointless because i can't get those nozzles but the ladies who have got this set it's really like i'm just looking in this box what we can use girls what we can use so another little nozzle that i found and you can buy it on my website is the 44 wilton one so which i had for hang on a second where's that 44 gone don't tell me i'll put it back I'll wash it and put it back, Karen. We're doing little daisies with. Yeah. Can you see if it's next to the sink? Yeah. Because it's not back here. So what I'll do is I'll do another little sunflower for you. But we had a little tiny, tiny, it's just like a little straight one, Karen. Tiny straight one. I'll squash my sunflower. Have you got it? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. So what I'll do is I'll just do another little sunflower on here. So those ladies who've got this set, go on, let me know if you've got this set. Sue's um, asking, what tip was it that you did the very tiny peony with? So what I did with the very tiny peas, it's the same one that I did the little rose with. It's the 59 SL. So there's your number 44. And it's the left-handed nozzles. And I'm right-handed, but I've used that one because it's the tiniest nozzle I can find. Okay, so then we want to make, so that's, that's just making the little tiny flowers that we're making. And then we're going to make some, um, so everybody who's got the normal nozzles now, we're going to make some... Um, blossoms for our cake okay so what we need to do is we need to two-tone our bag so we've got our white buttercream here okay so make sure you mix that in so everybody who's got their normal nozzles the 102 103 104 uh, 125 then you're fine but they're not the flowers i've just shown you there uh, nozzles that are a little bit hard to come by but if you've got that wilton master set they are in there so this is just buttercream here so we're just going to do some little blossoms to put on the side of our cake. Yeah. So just um, I do, if you notice, I don't mix my buttercream. If you notice that I just paddle it, it makes it far smoother, far nicer. I've been showing you this way for years. If you mix it around, you end up creating loads of air and then you've got to get that air out and you don't want it, want it, you want it nice and smooth. If you do get buttercream with loads of air in, just do this, paddle it. Karen had to learn the hard way when she first started making buttercream for me. Two kilos worth, wasn't it, Karen? Something like so, that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she was dead chuffed when she gave it me at the cake show and I went, mm -mm, sorry, it's going to have to go back, that Karen loves, she went, what's wrong with it? So, Nothing I can do with all those bubbles in there. So anyhow, she never did it again. So. Yes, you learn the hard way. Absolutely. So always paddle, get them out, okay? So it's, it makes much nicer buttercream for piping with. Right. So Barbara, yeah, this is a Swiss brown, is that a Swiss brown buttercream there? No, that is one is it, no, I'm just using buttercream, yeah. So I'm using buttercream, I'm using Swiss brown buttercream to cover the cake and normal buttercream for the flowers because I've um, got a lot of ladies who are not into Swiss meringue buttercream yet, so I just thought, let's not muck them up, let's do a, do a bit of both. Yeah, so the reason I've done this is, was mainly to show lots of ladies how to make it and go to the new method. The new method is on our recipe website, so go there, okay, and make sure you pick the one where it says whip the butter first. Do not go for the one that says whip it into a meringue. Now these couplers are great, these couplers, they save you a lot of money. 
uh, save you a lot of time I've only become in love with them this year and the girls who are in my bus cream flowers class they'll tell you how how excited I am I can't actually I have, I've always thought they were the biggest waste of money going but I have to say I fell in love with these now these are for normal size nozzles okay and they're brilliant I can't, I'm struggling to get more. I did order 300 with um, Wilton, but they can't get them to me till December. So I think I had 200 there gone. And I got the last 31 last week and I think they're gone. So um, I tipped off the buttercream flowers girls first. They were in the class, so they got to know first. And, and I know when I went into my house next day, I saw them being packed up. So what we want to do now is we've got the seam of our bag here. Now, whenever I'm using the 104, 102s or a petal tip, so let me just get the 104. I might have to send you back down there, Karen. I don't think I've brought any of the nozzles. I've got them all. I've, I've, I've washed them all. Put oh, them okay. Them. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Let me get them. Uh, Michelle Ward said she's just gone and added the master set to her basket. Right. <laughs> so what other is, it, is it, what other is recommended? Is it the left-handed set you'd recommend? The set of three to buy. Yeah. If it's uh, if we've got it in stock. Um, it's not that I've got it in stock at the moment. The suppliers have got nothing in stock. You just can't get nothing. So, like, if you're struggling on the website to find things, and I'm a bit worried with what's going to happen over the next few months, how things are going to be um, in trying to get stock. So, it's just a nightmare. Wilton have already told us they've been out of stock for things for, for ages, and they've already told us that there's things that we're not going to get till December. So I'm going to use the bigger of the nozzles. Now when I use the nozzle, the, this type of nozzle, this petal nozzle, this 104, 103, 102, um, 101 you do get in that set. You can't buy it on its own anymore. And the 125, the petal, which is the thin end. Okay, so you have a, a bulbous end and a thin end. So I like to have the thin end in line with the seam. Okay. So I'm going to put it in the seam. Now, normally for years, I've been piping I have one nozzle in each bag, but I love this now. I'm so, I'm so in love. I, I love it more than any of them. <laughs> and Deirdre's just asked your favourite question. Who's this? Deirdre Moore. Oh, right, yeah. How would you not get a grainy buttercream, please? Oh, no. <laughs> right. right. You've not been watching these lives, have you? <laughs> right, okay. So let me tell you about grainy buttercream, all right? So grainy buttercream is only known because you lot stick your finger in your bowl and you put your mouth, put it in your mouth. Ignore it. To be fair, there's a couple of ways to get grainy buttercream. Um, ice and sugar can come like that sometimes from the supplier, okay? And it can make it, it can be a bit grainy, but just sieve your ice and sugar. Our ice and sugar is super fine, but even then, now and again, we have problems. And we don't put it on our packaging that it's sieve free, we don't. It's just that our customers have got so used to not having to sieve it, that it's a bit of a shock to them sometimes if they get the odd lump or two in it. And there's nothing you can do with ice and sugar. You know, it's like it's wet and damp and humid out there. It does affect your ice and sugar. So. Um, so our, our icing sugar, as much as we say it's lovely and fine, if you want to make sure there is no um, little lumps in it, make sure you sieve it. Um, the next way of making it grainy is by over beating um, your buttercream. So always whip the living daylights out of the butter first. Let that have the beating. Whip it till it's lovely and white. So you know what, go and put your, your machine on. So room temperature butter, don't try beating a block of butter that's just come out of the fridge. Make sure it's lovely and squashy. Get it on your washing machine. Get it on your washing machine. <laughs> get it on your food mixer with a beater, not a whisk, and beat the living daylights out of it. Okay, so beat the living daylights out. Go and wash your pots. Have a little bit of a tidy up. Get yourself prepared. Then weigh out your icing sugar. When your icing sugar comes, chop it in. So at the moment, you're doing exactly the same as what you've done for the Swiss meringue buttercream. But all you're not going to do now is you're not going to add water. So you chop it in and then you turn it onto the mixer and you turn it on for 20 to 30 seconds, no more. There's no cloud. So I, I don't believe in throwing it in the mixer, putting a lid on and having a big cloud. You don't need to have that cloud. Um, I don't believe in whipping it all in in one go, but everybody likes their own way of doing things. There's no right or wrong way. It's what your personal choice is. But if people ask me, that's my way of doing it. So I don't ever have a cloud. You don't see clouds of icing sugar in this kitchen at all, unless I've completely lost my marbles one day and forgot what I was doing. But um, And then over whipping it. But then the other thing is, keep your finger out that bowl and you'll never know. There's never been a customer yet that I've known of that they've had a cake and they've said, mm, that buttercream is grainy. Seriously, never ever. So don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, you can, if, you, if it really bothers you, add a drop of hot water and that will loosen it. 
yeah but if you add too much hot water it might go a bit slip sloppy so just wait till it firms back up paddle it all in and then just wait until it firms up again yeah so normally when i'm coloring i'm usually put the thin end okay of the the nozzle to the seam of the bag and it's in the seam that i normally put the color because i want the color on the outside of the petals but this time i want the color on the inside so i'm going to turn the bag around and it's going to be on the other side so that means that my color is going to be in line with the bulbous side okay so we're going to get the pink that's what we're doing any idea when the one kilo calico's back in stock please? i've just ordered it today so i've just ordered it today so um I don't know the thing if the thing is again it comes from Belgium so we just have to wait it's all to do with um, shipping time so everything every courier has got every, every company's got the same problem at the moment trying to get stock so I do know I do have stock in at the warehouse and I need to go down there first thing in the morning and just double check what we want because I noticed last week that we had a bit of stock that I thought hmm that is not on the website I know that so um, if, it, if, it, if I'm right in the morning, that will be going on first thing in the morning. But otherwise, I should have, I'll get a notification tomorrow when my next um, consignment is due. So, well, as I say to you, I'm now going to put this up to the opposite to this uh, seam. And I'm just going to run it along the back. So I'm going to run it along the back because I want this going on the bulbous side. Yeah. So just going to do that along the back. And will we be getting a delivery for the Australian chocolate drip that someone's asking about the Snow White one? All uh, right, well, I just had that in, actually. It does sell really fast. So, again, I don't buy from Australia anymore um, because the customs charges was horrendous. So um, I, now, I now buy it from a supplier here in the UK. So I'm now reliant on them. And the other thing is the shipping charges were a nightmare and everything else. With COVID, it's just changed the whole world. And it's just changed the whole world about everything. Shipping is so expensive. Um, customs is so expensive. Everything is. So I've passed all those problems on to my supplier now. I just say to the supplier now, how much do you want? There you go. Great. I'll pay that. It'll be easier. So um, I'm placing an order with that company tomorrow. I might place it with them tonight and I'll see what they've got in stock. Right, but I do have the Brilliant White in stock from um, SPD, which is an English company, which is Sugar Paste Direct. And it's amazing and that's a Brilliant White. So I'd certainly have a look at that. Um, it says chocolate drip. It actually hasn't got any chocolate in it. It's just what the Australians called it. And um, SPD have just done the same. And I think they called it that drip because it's like, looks like a drip, chocolate drip when it's going around the cake. But um, both of them, none of them actually have chocolate in, apart from the PME range, which definitely does have chocolate in, but that doesn't set. It's very soft. So let's get some, um, let's get some bigger. Sorry, Karen, can you pass us my greaseproof paper that I launched over there? Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to make some big, um, we're going to make some big, um, I'm going to make some big something, I'll tell you what it is in a minute, <laughs> when it comes to mind. Um, what is it I'm making tonight? Is it blossoms? Yeah. Cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms, that's it. I'm just going to make, break a couple of these up. So I've got a mind like a sieve. Anyhow, is it, where is everybody from tonight? Let us know where you are, say a hello. Karen will give you a shout out. Let us know if you're new to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Uh, we're a really friendly bunch here. We've been doing lives here for four years. In January, we'll be into our fifth year of doing Facebook Lives every Monday. Uh, we do them every Thursday. I think we've been doing them over two years on a Thursday, every Thursday. And Karen's been doing lives uh, on a Monday and a Friday, haven't you, Karen? Uh -huh. So Karen does bacon on a Monday and vegan bacon on a Friday. And let me tell you now, I, um, I've had the vegan bacon from the shops and I used to say, oh God, it's awful. Or I picked it up off a, a cake stand somewhere and it was freaking awful. So I've got to be honest, when she was doing it, I thought, oof, I'm not trying it. But I've tried it, I have to tell you, it's amazing, it's delicious. <laughs> Uh, I'm never going to lose any weight but now if we give it away to anybody we don't tell them it's vegan we tell it it's vegan to the person we're giving it to but we say whoever you're giving it to don't tell them surprise them because it's like they're going to give it the kids and the kids soon say to them it's vegan it's like I oh, don't like it and um, I know I took a cake into the hairdressers last week 
and I said to them, I didn't tell them, I just told the girl, I said it's uh, vegan and um, she, her daughter does all the hair washing, you know, the, the junior and uh, she knew that if she said it to her she wouldn't eat it so um, she didn't say anything and uh, little Molly was going, I love that cake, I love that cake that Carol brought in and uh, Jenny's going, yes it's vegan Molly <laughs> So um, just let's have a look, see what this is going to run out like now. So we just want this to run out. So we've got that nice pink edge. There we go. You've got a few cheeky ones saying, I'm new. I'm new. Oh, yeah, I bet they are. Oh, they, no, they're, they're on every group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Members of the Bush Cream Flowers class. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so through COVID, we were here for you, supporting you. We were here for the whole time. And um, Sugar and Crumbs has done a lot to support the cake community. I've been around all the time. I know lots of you think I'm like Wonder Woman. I'm always around. Um, the team that worked for us is brilliant. I've got a super team. They're absolutely lovely. So let me just shut up going on with myself there. I can't get over how, Simon, how quiet Simon is tonight. Neither can anybody else on either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the they're all the same. What's wrong with him? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm sure I had a cup of coffee before I started, didn't I? Because Simon did make me a cup yeah. of coffee before we went live. Yeah. So hi, we've got Leslie who's on her, on Jan's phone because her key's free and she's still in Shetland. We've got Christine in Stolenborough. Uh, well, Leslie's not new. No, Leslie's not new. She <laughs> no, she's not. She says, it's Leslie and I've hijacked Jan's phone. Ah, right, right. <laughs> So let's have a look at this one. So this nozzle, if you, this is the 104, it's the bigger one, okay? Now you can use this whether you're right-handed or left-handed, all right? So all you're gonna do now is you're just gonna do like a little U. So squeeze and a little U. And then go behind it, squeeze, another little U. Keep going behind it. The pink will come through more and more shortly. Okay. So we've got Jill so can you the see? way from Essex. There's a new time, Ooh, a new Hello. One. So can you see there, the pink is in there. Now, um, I did have the cocktail sticks out before. So a little cocktail stick, you can just push it down if you want to. But can you see how the pink is there in the center now? How pretty is that? And more and more pink will come through in a minute. So we've got that one. And we'll do a few different sizes just so you can see how these are gonna pull together. So you're going to squeeze, go underneath, and you're doing five little petals. Yeah, quite pretty, aren't they? Now what we can do is we can get some little dots, or we can use little dots of paint. We can paint with it with the gel, which I'll show you in a minute. Sorry about the rain, guys. Go on, Simon, can you shut the door now? Are you shut up because you're so cold, are you? <laughs> They're not. Are you taking the mickey? No. So look at that there. So uh, let me just get that up. I don't need that there anymore. We've got Merley from Edinburgh. Ooh, that's a new name. It's M E R L. -Y right, hello. Merley. So I hope you're all enjoying this line. I'm just going to do another big one here. So dead easy. Look, just squeeze little U all underneath each other. Tilt it up slightly. And then just bring that one in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, both got a bit of tap running. Yes, it sounds like that, doesn't it? It's yeah. Definitely not, it's, the it's really pouring down outside. So then what I'm going to do now is, because we've got this lovely cover on there, I'm going to go down a size to the 103. Oh, bold, so, make, bold baker Paul. Yeah. Carol, you're really doing mains for doing these buttercream flowers, love. It's a brilliant talent to have. Oh, thank you, Paul. <laughs> I would love to have your bread talent, let me tell you. It's Absolutely. amazing what you do with bread. So, it goes both ways, doesn't it? So I, I'm not a professional, I'm self-taught. I've been on a couple of classes. The thing with classes is you go in the class, you do it for the day, and then you can't remember. So the good thing, the reason during COVID I started them um, classes online, and I just found it really easy, really. And we've got a nice little chat group that goes on in there. In fact, it's like more of a little get-together in there. And uh, if you want to join, you can join. I think we're on... Um, I think we're on flower... Are we on flower 18 or 19? So, yeah. 
So we try to do one or two flowers a week. We have a laugh. I certainly do. We have a laugh, we have a joke in there. And even if you don't watch it and you go back and watch it later, so many ladies have watched it at a later date and said, I just felt as though I was in the kitchen with you actually on the day. So these are a little bit smaller. So we're just going to go down, just down a couple of sizes. We've got another lady, Aisha Burke. She's oh. a new baker in Boston, oh Lincolnshire. She's read, she's read about our amazing icing sugars. She's going to try some. Oh, fantastic. You'll love them. Lots of ladies on here will tell you how lovely they are. They are lovely, you know. They're not for everybody. Not everybody likes them. Some people like to use liquids or stuff like that. But I'll tell you how I came to um, use them. I love the flavour almond. Absolutely love the flavour almond. And when I started cake decorating, this is before I owned Sugar and Crumbs. Um, so when I came to decorate, to decorate, if ever I put the almond essence in, the liquid almond essence, I always put too much in. And it always overpowered everything. And it, you know, it overpowered it that much that nobody could really enjoy it. Even me and I love it. So it didn't matter what I did because I had either put some in and it wasn't enough or I'd just go and put too much in. So um, when I started Sugar and Crumbs, I thought it's got to be about, uh, there's got to be something out there, a powder type of thing. And um, so I tried flavorings from all over the world. Seriously, fresh fruit flavorings. I had them in from China, India, um, Japan. Can you believe it? Japan was sending flavors as well. Uh, France, all sorts of places from around the world, I have them in from everywhere. And in the end, I settled with a company here in the UK because I decided to go down um, the route, then that's that one, um, for all natural and, um, and easy for allergens as well. Um, so all the flavorings that we actually have are actually never come from the actual, the, the, they're not synthetic, they've never actually come from the actual um, plant itself. I'm now on a 102. Let me find a 102. What's that? Is that 102? Yeah. So, um, so they're all made from plants, which is brilliant. And then um, I don't know how they do it. It's quite brilliant how they do it. And um, and then they're free. They're made into a liquid, and then they're freeze dried. And that's why it's so expensive. Because if you buy the liquid, the liquid's a lot cheaper. Um, but the problem with the liquid it is it's in your cupboard and it crystallizes and it goes all brown and gloopy around the jar and everything. Um, so and I didn't want that either. So let me just get my nozzle in the right place. Um, so always make sure the thick end is in line with your color, okay? And then I didn't like I didn't want to do that. So um, I, I wanted something freeze dried and then that's how sugar and crumbs was born. So we started off with 15 flavors. I think we're up to about 50 odd if you have the whole range. So let me just uh, get the pink going. Running out of pink there now. So that's not on there. So you can tell that we haven't got pink. So I just need to swizzle this round a little bit more so we can get the pink going. There it is. So we've got about 50 in the whole range. Um, but we take some out of the range from season to season. So we're just going to add three more flavours. We're going to, with the sale now, we're going to discontinue a lot of the flavours now until next summer and then bring in the new flavours. And that, that's one of the things that's quite handy with the sale. So the flavoured icing sugars are brilliant for making all sorts of things. We've got a full recipe website for making things with the flavoured icing sugars. In fact, everything you can make with whipping it up, you can make with the flavoured icing sugars, okay? Um, all we've done is just made it a little bit easier by making this new product by adding egg white to it. And it just made it a little bit easier, that's all. But you can still make all the same recipes. I haven't done every one myself yet. Um, it's took us years to build up a recipe portfolio just with the flavoured icing sugars. But we are working on the ones with the um, whipping it up. So we do have roulade, we do have biscuits, we do have macarons, um, we do have fluff, don't we, we can, do, we do. Fluff, bit, um, I can't think, uh, meringues, pavlovas, um, there's lots of things that you can make with it. So I'm just going to make some, some down smaller now on this nozzle. So how easy is this? Who's dying to give this a go? And who's got the, the Master Wilton set? I bet those girls in my uh, class who's got it are very excited. They certainly are. 
Yeah. Now I may run out of stock, but I'll see with the suppliers tomorrow if I can get some more. Sam, could you put the link up for the uh, the recipe website, please? Because JD wants to know: Do we sell a book with all our recipes? We in? don't know, unfortunately. But we don't because it would always be out of date because we're always adding something to it. But when you're looking at the recipes, just remember one thing. If it says blueberry, you can use salted caramel. You can use any flavor you want, okay? It's just that's what we made it on that day. So every recipe that's in the on the recipe website, you can use any flavored ice and sugar that you want. So there's my last one. So we've now got our little cherry blossoms. Aren't they pretty then? Yeah. So we've got our little cherry blossoms. Um, let's move that out of the way. Let's um, do a bigger um, a bigger sunflower for you. Just for those of you who couldn't see that little tiny one that I did before. So these are just to go on the macarons afterwards. But um, So you're just going to have to squeeze, stop, pull. And this tiny little leaf tip is actually in the master set. So I only spotted it the other day. I did, I've had a master set for years and there he was sat there looking at me going, when are you going to use me? <laughs> and I thought, you know what, mate, you're getting it on Monday night. You're coming You've out to, to play. Age, Carol, where, what? where nozzles are talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Well, it was, it was going, you never use me. You pick all my friends in the box, but you never pick me. So tonight's the night. He's been out all day playing, actually. There we go. So that's how easy it is. So those of you at the master set, that little tiny leaf tip is in there. Little, little, tiny, tiny leaf on it is. And it's, uh, look, I can't, I can't even show you how tiny it is. It's, um, it's the 349. And I've not seen it with the suppliers to sell it. If you're in America, I should imagine you'll be able to get it because it... Everything is in America, just dropping my nozzles on the floor. So let's see what we're going to do with these now. So we've got these on, so we can add some hundreds and thousands to them. And let me just get out some hundreds and thousands. I'm going to have to pick some from here, or we can paint them on. So we can paint them on, we can get ourselves a little painty tray. Find a really thin, find a really little thin. Um, what look. colour did you use them in the sunflower? Was it like just a little it a was brown? A, it was a brown, yeah. A brown. Yeah. So I'm just going to get a little bit of water from here that I had before. Have a little bit of water. Michelle just says, I've gone there. through the website and I've clicked on lots, and I mean lots of tips. I'm blaming you, Carol. Right. Well, when you've got them, Michelle, you're in the classroom. No, you just, she's just showing the bunch of green flowers, actually, Michelle. Is. So you'll be like the other ladies, but make sure you get the flower nail. You need one of them. Definitely need one of them. All the other ladies are here, they'll tell you. So I'm just going to use this Christmas red, this gel. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. Just put the gel there. And add a little bit of water to it. So I'm just going to have to take my glasses off and have a look. So hold on, I'm just going to loosen it down a little bit, okay, and then all I'm going to do is just stroke it off the edge there, I'm just going to just do some little tiny dots. Now you could put hundreds and thousands on if you want, don't do too many dots. quite therapeutic doing these so I should have done all the ones that were in the freezer before because I've realised you're going to have to sit and watch me do them in a minute when I do my cake oh. <laughs> oops oops yeah oops <laughs> should have done but don't they look nice don't they look nice they when you have the little dots on absolutely and they're, they're not neat dots let me tell you you don't need to have them neat so don't be worrying about them being exactly the same circles they're just little tiny dots or you can if, as I say you can put hundreds of thousands on if you want to. So um, it might have been a good idea if I'd started with them up here. So uh, let's see. Well, the Wilton box is out of stock, Carol. No, don't worry. 
Wait till tomorrow. Let me speak to the supplier in the morning. Um, I do have the gem boxes, but I don't know what's in the gem boxes. I'll have to have a little look. What's in the gem box? Have we got a gem box here, Karen? We have. Yeah, so if, if you haven't got that Wilton box, I'll have a look with the suppliers tomorrow. Let's have a look see if it's got that tiny tiny leaf in it. Tiny tiny leaf. Yeah. Let's get this out of the way. Turn this around. So I don't know what you can actually see up there because I've had to take 60, my glasses off. Is that off. the 66 one? Is it that one? Oh no, that's that makes that ripple. We're gonna use that one as well in a minute, I think. So I found a few little nozzles in the uh, box that I've actually like. So there's a 66, a 67. I never liked them before. The girls were <laughs> not really bad that. Never liked them before. It's as though they're well. like personal mates or something. Yeah. You know, but um, left out. Yeah. But I've just been using them and I thought, ooh, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> So, uh, so when I do my buttercream flowers, if, if any of you want to join that buttercream flowers group, ask the other ladies who are here, they'll tell you about it, it's great fun, totally chilled out, we do a class once a week, and they're your classes to keep forever as well, and it seems that I'm going to be doing them forever because they don't want me to leave, so... Um, you told them they could have a four year diploma. Yeah I did, I said they can have a diploma in four years, <laughs> and we've done them all. That means I've gone seen, I guess, what seen all, I'm just repeating myself, so... <laughs> So, they just love it because it's just it's, it's just like mates meeting and yeah. just doing a bit of so come and join our it. come and join our gang it's great all the ladies will tell you i don't know if they're saying anything now but they should be all here telling you so i don't know how our audience is doing tonight how are we doing tonight then karen we're doing great we've yeah. uh, we've, we've stayed between well we've run 300 odd now and been 400 it's oh, great fantastic that's what we like Absolutely. so um, my daughter does facebook lives as well laura so she's in the sugar and crumbs kitchen on thursday okay and she is um doing what's she marshmallows doing and fudge. marshmallows and fudge and i think tracy mann starts her lives tomorrow does she start yeah, her lives tomorrow yes. yeah so tracy mann now because um she's going to start doing tuesday nights for us at six thursday so anybody who wants to know um, about chocolate as well, she covers all that type of thing. Um, and she does some fantastic painting classes, really reasonable prices as well. So um, she has her own business. We let her just use our, our platform for her to have her own business on. And she, obviously she mentions a few things that we sell. Um, but you know, anything you buy, you don't buy sugar and crumbs, you buy direct from Tracy. But lots of you have bought some of her painting courses and they are brilliant. And her chocolate transfer sheets as well. So she's going to do them every um, Tuesday. We're going to do that. And then, as I say, Laura's in on Thursday making fudge and marshmallow. And then Karen's in doing vegan bacon. Have you thought about what you're making on Friday? Yes. Have you thought Actually, what you're making? I'm going to make a delicious vegan chocolate brownie. There you go. And it'll be good, I tell you. So what do we think of them? Should we have a little look at them close up? Well, Jackie Richards says, I'm really sorry, I've only just joined. And I've missed the rose. Have you missed the rose? I'll do it again for you, don't worry. I'm going to pop these in the fridge. Okay. So Sam, can you just pop them in the fridge for me, love? Thank you. So uh, I'll do a couple of more little roses. It's only little baby roses, yeah. little tiny ones. Um, yeah, so you could use um, 100 and thousands if you wanted to, or non parallels as they're called. And uh, pick out whatever colour. These are these are the rainbow colours. But you could I've, I've do the, I've do them in a pearl and in a matte. You could pick out your little colours there and there. Get yourself some little tweezers and put them on in place. But I like painting them on. I think they look quite nice. So I'm just going to shove that out of the way. Bring that back up here. Did we find that little tiny straight nozzle, that 44? Gave it you, didn't it? Did you give it me? You've used it. Was that oh, one I on the floor? Is it that one? There it is, yeah. So you'd like to make macarons? I'm not making macarons tonight. 
Yeah, we're already making macarons. We're decorating. We've already done the macarons. Oh, right. Nice. Yeah, no, no. Did you think we were making macarons, Simon? Yeah, because it's on the title. Wow, who said it was on the title? We haven't made it. So eh? we're, we're going to be decorating, decorating macarons. Oh. Yes. We're going to be decorating them, which is why we've made another batch of Swiss and Rang buttercream. So, um, here now, what I was going to do is... Ooh, right. Oh, dear me. Wait a minute. So, I'm going to have to show you a daisy with a bit of pink in it. And then I'll do the rose, and then we'll put this. Then we'll put the um, some macarons together, and some of the little flowers together, so you can see how they are. Yeah. So again, this is um, this one. So this one, as much as it's, as much as it was meant to be a daisy, but I've got pink in it. So. So this one is a forty-four, and I do sell this on the website. This is a uh, the plain one. So 44, so you're just going to make a little circle, squeeze up, squeeze up. I don't know whether you've ever seen it in white, actually. So just doing little tiny little lines. And then you get the yellow. You just, oh, sorry. And then you've got yourself a little daisy there. You can see that on there. And then we'll just do the uh, little rose again, the little mini rose. And we are using the 59, is it SL or LS? What is it? A, what it's just it? 59 S. If it's in the Wilton set. No, it's 59SL. So it's 59 small left-handed. There we go. So it's a little tiny petal. That's what it is. A really little tiny petal. Now, the reason I'm using left-handed one, because for some reason they don't make this nozzle as a right-handed one. So <laughs> that's why we're using a left-handed one. But it works for me anyhow. Um, and it comes in a set of three. So it has a medium one and a larger one. But I'm right-handed using this nozzle. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'll just show you because you've just come to the party. So just a nice little blob in the middle. And then you just, I'm going to go this way because I'm right-handed. So just little tiny semicircles. And then you can, you can have your rows as small as you want. And then you can go bigger. So there you go. Yeah. So that's your little tiny rose there. So all you're doing, little tiny semicircles. You can just put, poke them in if you want to. And then you sit them in the freezer. Right, so let's get those out of the way then. Let's get those out of the way and let's start decorating some of our macrons. And we'll get out some of the flowers that we made earlier. So let's just put that over there. So let's get the piping bag out. We're going to use a 1M Wilton piping bag. Hope you're enjoying this live. Make sure you're all chatting to each other, it's saying similar. hello. Um, make sure you like and share as well to be in with the chance of winning a £25 voucher. I've got three draws to do tonight. Um, okay. So whenever you put this, um, this nozzle in, don't drop it in. Because if you drop it in like I was going to do then, it's highly likely it could prick it. So just pop on your finger. Do not push your finger through. If you push your finger through, you're going to have big problems getting it back roll down the bag okay and then just slip it in just as i could put a pair of stockings on something like that just slip it in like that until it gets to the end of the bag and then when you are so when i'm saying roll down the bag so you can put the nozzle in and then on the points you'll see it's got like it's, it's jagged this it's a star one so where that v is there cut the bag so it's in line with the bottom of the v Yeah, so I do like having my daughter, and I think you all enjoy having her in, don't you? So uh, my son Ryan rang me tonight with the granddaughter in the bath. Completely forget, just before we went live, completely forgetting that we go live on a Monday. So he's going, you're a bit distracted, Mum. So yes, we're going to go live in a minute, Ryan. So, <laughs> so you feel really bad, don't you? So having to rush off. Now, for the macarons, the Swiss meringue buttercream is absolutely delicious for the macarons. 
okay so karen's made these macarons already we've shown you loads of times now the last time i came on to show you some uh, macarons um i overbeat the mix bit of a schoolgirl error so please don't overbeat the mix and um, what i did is i colored it all i did the bowl and showed you how to um, do it in the bowl but you know bring it down and then i then divided it between four bowls and colored it and a uh, bit of a schoolgirl error that one was so i'm just going to get these together and um, oh, do you want to pass me my flowers out the freezer first, Simon? So we're just going to put some of these together. I'm not going to put them all together, so I'll just put the macarons. So you can make these with the Swiss meringue buttercream. Here we go. So we've got any more small flowers? What the roses? Yeah, little roses. So they look pretty just like that, decorated. So was that for that one? Yes, it was. Yeah, that's fine so they they look lovely just like that and they taste yummy so um john said to me tonight what do you want for tea so i said um nothing he said what have you had to eat so i went um egg custards i didn't tell him that i was telling him that in my mind he'd go mad otherwise he's probably watching now going no i know why she didn't want any tea egg custard <laughs> macarons <laughs> Custard's macarons. Uh, honestly, we've had a right load of rubbish in here today. It's delicious as well. So, uh, <laughs> so yes, yeah, so they look pretty, don't they? You just do that nice rose effect on there. So we're going to do that, and then you get that nice frill effect there. Look how frilly it is. Looks lovely. So, but if we want, so that's it. that's if you want to do it this way. I'm going to change the nozzle over in a minute. Just sort of do a couple of these first. Yeah, so if you watch my last live on macarons, don't follow that. I definitely overbeat it. Proper schoolgirl error. Um, but Karen's lusted these. Look how lovely that is. With Misty Blue from Fake Hill. I'm in love with it. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Misty Blue, there was a song with that with Misty Blue, wasn't there? And Gerald needs it. It's the best TM we've had anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best tea ever. Yeah. Yeah, poor Karen's not been home today. So, uh she decided to stay the weather is absolutely miserable so she decided to stay so i'm gonna just um change my bag now so i just wanted to show you putting a few of those together first so i'm going to use those for the roses because they'd be nice and two for the roses the two pink ones let's do those yeah so i'm now going to go to a round nozzle okay so let's get that over there one second So again, I did sell this as a set of three and it comes with a round in it. It's also, I think the big round might be in your um, piping bag. Um, oh, wait a minute. Piping set. Piping set. Yeah. yeah I'm just thinking set, what yeah. size nozzle I want to go with with that. Hmm. Let's have a go with both, shall we? I like both of them. We'll have a go with both, won't we? It's like I, I like the number 12 out of that set. Yeah, that's what I was just looking for. Oh, that's what I've made. There it is, got it, yeah. That's, that's what I've used with today. Yeah, number 12, that's the best one. Yeah, so we'll get rid of that one. Yeah, nozzles are very difficult to get, uh, 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 get old of at the moment. But I am on it, girls. Okay, so let's put some white in here. And then what we'll do is we'll get our flowers. I'll put some buttercream in. Have we got any more questions, Karen? No, they're just they're answering each other there. It says Sarah Jane says she always just makes normal buttercream. However, she's going to try this Swiss meringue cream. Oh, it's delicious. That means, I, I tell you, it's delicious. It is really nice. I mean, all our flavoured icing sugars are delicious anyhow, but this is delicious. So what we're going to do now here, I'm just going to squeeze this. Okay. I've had to squeeze too much on. I'm going to pipe it on. <laughs> and Linda says, can you tell Carol, my, punk, my pink board was all good when I put some treks on it. Yeah. Who's that? Linda Miles. Ah, Linda, yeah. Yeah, I must talk to you about the pink boards, girls. So, um, right, so where's my flowers now? There's my tray of flowers. And apparently, life's too short, eat cake. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> so we're just going to... <laughs> so this is the tricky bit. So what you need to do now is you need to put that on there, okay, and then stick your flowers on but i prefer to do it this way it's easier well i think it is so i need to sit down it's one of those moments 
for it. <laughs> and I get my little palette knife out. <laughs> Little mini salad knife to the rescue wherever he is. Do you know where he might be? No. He's not in there trying to draw aliens where the cookery is. And if you haven't got one of these in your life, you need one of these. I'm it's, called, out. it's called a mini palette knife and uh, it's a game changer. So these must come out of the freezer, okay? So I don't know how well Simon can see these. And then you're just going to pop them on. Okay, so that's one on. So the, the fiddly, these, I tell you, you'll be charging for them. When you come to do these for your family and friends, you won't be doing these for nothing. I'm just going to put that on there. I'll stick it on. see you can't see what I'm doing very easy. So we're just putting the little flowers on. That's not too bad. Okay. So I'm just going to keep putting on there where I dig one off. And I'm a bit worried I'm getting going to get a bit lopsided as well. So I'm just going to put some around this side as well. All the tips you've used tonight, you yeah. sell, don't you? They're either in the box I or do, separate. I do sell them all. But what I will say to you, and I, and I know it's bad coming on doing a live with tips and then you haven't got them in stock, but just trying to get tips at the moment is just hard work. But it's just good for you to watch so that when you see you've got them in stock, you can um, get them. Um, just be careful, some suppliers will tell you that they're, just be careful of their little dodgy Chinese sets. Don't buy any of them. They're, um, just in case you go on Amazon. You might end up thinking that you're buying the nozzles, the, the tips, and you're not. Just don't. They're, they're, they're a load of rubbish. Um, do you have any idea when Select Island's coming back in right, stock? I just spoke to Select Island, and apparently my order's being dispatched. And they do apologise, because it should have been dispatched on Friday. And it hasn't. They've been working on it today. So they're hoping to dispatch it tomorrow, Wednesday the latest, which means I will get it on Friday. All right, sweet stamp arrived in the building on Friday as well, so that was in. So I'm just getting the cuff now. So it's a little, it's a little faff. This, sorry girls, but you know if you want to do these tiny little roses on your macarons, it's all worth one, it in the end. On that, oh, that one, one macaron. <laughs> this one's going to cost him a tenner. And to be fair, I put too much buttercream on here anyhow. I've mucked it up. I can always do things better when I'm not doing them on a live. Annette says she uses a mini palette knife all the time, she won't be without no, it. No, the mini palette knife you definitely yeah. have to have. I think them. that's my mum's favourite tool, yeah. the mini palette knife. Exactly. It's mine. Yeah. I've only got the one, I go mad if I can't find it. It's really, really, really handy. So uh, let's just get a few more of these. So, and these, you know, used, they, you've got to use them straight away out, they come out the freezer. Don't be saving them, leaving them outside, leaving them out, thinking, oh, right, I can leave them out, they'll be fine. They'll go too soft. Okay. So these are fiddly, but you all want to know how to do them. I so. said they look really faffy. They do look really yeah. faffy, and I can tell you they are really faffy. I'm doing these at a request. I don't know which person requested it. Boss. But they're at a request. If you ever thought I was going to make these for anyone, really? not was a it chance. Jacket? I'm forgetting Mike well, been, was it? Was it a jacket you were telling us they look faffy? <laughs> <laughs> With a few laughing faces. Somebody wanted to see you, but not do it themselves. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Just got one more to get on. So uh, let me tell you, do you know what? They are quite nice to do, but they are faffy. And, uh, and to be fair, my hands were hurting after doing so many of these today. Well, you do because it takes ages, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, I've been here all day. Yeah. So, uh, and I've, I've overdone them anyhow. They should have been inside the shell. And look, they're outside the shell. So I put too much buttercream on. But you know what? You can see what they're like, can't you? I don't know. Can you see there, Simon? I can't squeeze it together. Can you see them there? Little roses. So I put too much buttercream on the outside. So what I'll do now is I'll learn by that. I'm going to do it again. Absolutely. Yeah. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And have That's you got it. the new sweet stamp Christmas outbosser in stock? I haven't, no, because I, uh, my order only came, but it'll come in on the next order, so it should be in, hopefully. I'll speak to Amy tomorrow and then see how soon she can get them to me. Right, you're doing a sterling job, Carol, Maureen says. <laughs> sterling job. Yeah. And Geraldine says, while well, you're doing that, are you well, gonna, are you gonna, around. Th while you're faffing around, are you going to throw about the clean board, about the green, uh, the pink boards? What is it? Oh, I have to demo it when... Oh, right, that's all right, then that's fine. Right. I could do with pop it, probably popping these back in the freezer again, but let me put these little... Let me put these little sunflowers on. Them ones haven't been in the freezer, I think. Oh, have they not? They're Why? The They're the fridge ones. Oh, are these are the fridge ones. Oh. The freezer ones are the ones underneath. Oh, are they? Oh. Oh, get them in the freezer. <laughs> We're talking about the pink board. And get them in the fridge. We'll come back to them in a minute. Okay, so let's talk about the pink board. You take the cake out of the freezer if you want, and then put them in the freezer. Put them in the freezer. So if you want to put that back in the fridge. We've got all sorts of cream flowers in the fridge. Big stargazer lilies, <laughs> anemones, all sorts of things in there, all on trays. Right, okay, so the pink board lady. So I'll come back to this at the moment. Look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see it there. Can they see that? Just, just, one, just one solitary And, that, and that's one. what my macrons would look like, just yeah. one. <laughs> just one on there. We'll do the rest in a minute. Okay, so there you go. You wanted to know how they would do. So the pink board, I've showed you a demo on these, okay? But uh, I'll show you a quick demo again on it. Okay, so these pink boards I have made specially for me. Um, you can't get them off anybody else. They are expensive because of the colour, unfortunately. It's not because um, I'm ripping you off or anything like that, because I have to tell you I had a very strong conversation with a supplier when he told me how much they were. That's to my price to me. And um, they should be actually dearer than what they, they should be dearer, but I've just thought there's just no way people are going to pay that. So I've, um, I've done them slightly cheaper. But the pink board, it doesn't come with feet on it. Okay, so there it is. It doesn't come with feet on it. Um, you get a gripper that comes with it so you can stick it, to, so it sticks to your worktop. And then um, all you do is just wipe it, wipe it clean. Now, when you when you get it, if you rub your fingers over it like that and do scratches, and sometimes when it arrives, you might see scratch marks. It's not because my warehouse lads have been scratching it, but it's usually like the bubble wrap that's on it sort of scratches it or the brown paper or whatever will put push against it. And some people have wrote to me and said, oh, it's got scratches all over it. Do not worry about that. Um, uh, Karen in the office, the other Karen, she didn't quite know what was happening with the pink board and she said to a lady, just give it a good wipe until you wipe it off. No, this is what you need. It's a, it's a protective coating that's actually on the board. So just give it a wipe. Do not worry about the scratches. It won't do it any harm at all. And I'll get you out a bit of sugar paste now. So I've got a new sugar paste as well that's going to go on the website tomorrow from um, Select Island, uh, not Select Island, from Sugar Paste Direct. So it's actually in stock in the warehouse, but I've not put it on the website yet. And that is called um, Extra Stretch. But let me just get you this one for now. Just so you can see, you don't need any corn flour with this. So Select Island make us, um, they have two ranges, they have the platinum range and they have the um, silk range. So I'll just cut you some off there, just so you can see the board. Now again, these won't be in stock to the end of the week, but you can ring Laura in the office tomorrow um, and ask her to reserve you one. Pay a £25 deposit and pay weekly. Lots of ladies pay weekly for it. So let me get the shopping board. So any questions, Karen? It's not 10 to 10, is it? It certainly is. Oh my God, how, I've got to decorate a cake. Come how on. How long can you store the macarons if you don't decorate them? And would you store them in an airtight container? Um, put them between layers of greaseproof paper. Don't sit them on top of each other. All right, I'm going to have to decorate a cake in five minutes. So let me just quickly show you this. Quickly so you know about the board. But if you want to reserve one of these and you want your family to buy one, okay, um, and you want your family to buy one, then um, I don't know what my bus cream flowers class is going to look like in the morning. So, 
You still don't think we need a clock, Carol? <laughs> well, none of you two said anything, did you? I only knew the time because I was there. Well, you get so... a clock. I'm just watching you just work hey, away. I did. I had no idea about the time. I'm so sorry. God, I thought I still had an hour to go. So, uh, and yeah, those of you who want to go, try. And those who want to stay with me. <laughs> you didn't believe in you. You didn't believe in you. We are fair. Yes, yeah, see you. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the camera running. <laughs> so, uh, don't use wet hands when you're rolling out sugar paste. So, so um, oh, macarons. All oh, right, is that it now, isn't it? So here we go. So you don't need to put Didn't any corn. Notice all them when, when I came in. <laughs> when you come, well, tomorrow. Are you, are you doing the live tomorrow? Yeah. Is that yeah. the natural factory in here? I know. I'm ready. So um, get your rolling pin. Don't need any corn flour. So I'll just quickly show you. We're staying to the end. I'm staying. I'm staying. We enjoy it. We're staying Aww. to the end of time. <laughs> Good girls. Do you think anyone could pop up to my house? Karen's off tomorrow. I've got no one to help me clean the kitchen. So <laughs> So those who are with me at half eleven tomorrow, God help you, because this kitchen's going to be like this. I've got loads of stuff I've got to do tomorrow in the morning before I come in. Karen Davies, she used this for the first time. She put corn flour all over, and I said, "No, don't put corn flour over it." And then she came again. She said, "I'm going to try that pink mat." And then she's going, "Carol, as soon as it comes in stock, let me know." Loves it. Didn't you got Jerry Chew to use yes. it as well, didn't you, in class? Jerry went, I said, I went step away from the floor. No corn flour. Yeah. So I think what's I think we're up to a twelve inch but a twelve inch yeah. board there, drum there. And Jerry absolutely loved it. Yeah. So everybody loves them. So they are exclusive to sugar and crumbs. I know they're a lot of money. They're smaller ones as well. But look, just pick it up. And you can do it with any sugar paste. Yeah. So anyhow, there you go. That's it, it's done. So, so you don't need any corn flour. When we wipe the board, we just do it with warm water yeah. and then dry it off. Yeah, just warm water. And then what to do is maybe once a month, get a little bit of Trex, okay? And just give it a little bit of love with some Trex, that's all. And if you if you use a knife on it, like I go mad if anyone uses a knife on the board, you can use it as a chopping board. One side is a chopping board and one side is your pastry board. But I don't let anybody chop on it, so... Those are the rules of the kitchen for those ones who know me. But if you do get a knife cut on it or a small knife cut, just rub treks in it. They call, they call it a self-healing board. You won't see any marks in your sugar paste, believe me. Right, so I need to get a, a bit of a jimmy on yeah. now. So yeah. can, can the people reserve a pink board? Yes, you can. So all you've got to do is phone the office, pay £25 to reserve it. You can pay weekly or monthly. As long as you pay it by Christmas and it's gone for Christmas, I'm quite happy. Some people pay £10 a week, some people pay £25 a week, some people pay £25 deposit and then pay it in full. It's entirely up to you. So you ring the office 0161 393 5056, ask for Laura, she'll sort it out for you. Put my on the floor here. Right, get my cake out, Simon, please. And Karen, what else have I done with that turntable? What did I do that turn? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be looking at the map. Where do you want it? Uh, just on in front of me. I'm just going to get another photo. I've got to go on camera. I've got to go on camera, Simon. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Here's a cake. Hello. We've all been asking about you tonight, Simon. Yeah. Hey. Hey. We're all waiting for you to do a live, Simon. That's the question. That's been that asked the question. Asked and asked and asked and asked. Yeah. Really I right, just said yeah. it's under discussion. <laughs> you can think of a little something to do. So, anyhow. Yeah. Give you three minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What have I done with my spatula knife now? So we've got that. Got that. Fact, I can't believe I made all this mess for this. So, uh, I was thinking the same thing. I know, look at it all, oh, it's everywhere. It was all calm and collected earlier. Right, okay, so, there we go. So we've got it on our board there. So you've noticed that I've actually gone to the silver board as well. Push it in. So I'm just going to 
going to push it in there. So this is going to be like our like little forest cake for our, our um, what are they called, carob? Sugar blossoms. <laughs> what are they called? I'm, Cherry blossoms, just, aren't they? I'm like that thinking, where else boys, girls? <laughs> 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 I thought, no. where's, where's the cake going? <laughs> is that what I said, where's the cake no, going? you're saying what's it, what's, but the cake, and I'm thinking, I, I just suddenly went, what's it called? It, I'm trying else? to remember what it is we're oh. making. If anybody <laughs> else can keep up with me, good. Oh. Yeah, so you're going to put, you're gonna put that stuff on and then you're going to put all in front of it. Eh? What are you saying? Can you not get your words out, Simon? No, no. He's choking on food, Carol. Are you still? Ah, right. <laughs> no, I was thinking he was choking on my excellent cake decorating skills. <laughs> you're going to stick flowers on it, aren't you? Yeah, I am. That's what you, I'm just reminding you that's what you Oh, is that doing. what I was doing? Oh, right, okay. No, well, I know still, that bit. We're still doing the like and share results tonight as well. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, so you're going to have to stay now to, you're going to have to stay to get the results. It won't take me long. You know what I'm like, <laughs> throwing a cake together. This will be done. We'll be out of here at five past ten. Hopefully. Oh, cracker. Maybe ten past. <laughs> you know what it's like. Oh, Carol, would you ever, ever finish on time? Well, what gets me is, John always gets me. What did they do? Watching you? I don't know. I don't know, but they like it. <laughs> Right, okay, so I'm just going to just have a little straighten up. I don't want a tight straighten up, so I don't want it making it looking like I can do a perfect cake because I can't. Everybody would be shocked if I started doing things like that. <laughs> right. So, okay, so we've got that. So where's my green buttercream? It's already prepared. So I'm just going to clean my board. Well... I've realised I've not dotted up all my uh, flowers, have I? <laughs> 20 past 10, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, because right. we are, don't worry, we are doing the prize draws before we go off air. Yeah. Don't ask me what these bits are. It all start coming together in a bit. I'm just making these bits up. These are to add me dodgy bits. So when anybody who's new to watching me, you, I never really know what I'm gonna make. So um, it just sort of has to come together on the night. Um, and it's not, I, I'm not fibbing when I say that. I don't, I don't really know myself. I'm always in all myself. Like, oh my goodness, that looked all right, didn't it? So. That's Easy. why we have difficulty doing the titles for the shows, because... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what we're going to make. <laughs> so I'm not sure what these green bits are, but they feel they look all right, don't they? Right, so where's my brown bag of buttercream? Yeah, well, something like that, yeah. Where's my brown bag of buttercream? Can anybody oh, see that? Oh, you keep hiding things. Where's the, oh, look, there it is. I'm going to panic, you see. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't panic because they're not going anywhere. I'll right. you the same with you. I'm going to panic because John will be going, you're doing it again, you aren't you? Oh, late God. again. So um, I don't ever cut off my edges. You can do that if you want to. You know, I just like to get buttercream all over my arms and stuff. I don't ever worry about any of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is this is my tree stump. It's quite a skinny tree stump. And it's quite tall. Hey. Okay. Oh, is the whole thing the tree stumped? No. Just said to you, I don't know what it is yet. I could have probably done with doing with a bigger nozzle on here, but as we're running so late, we're going to have to work with what we've got.
Oh, Sam is just fiddling around with the camera at the moment to see if you can actually see anything. So. I don't know if a cherry blossom tree looks like this. Looks a bit like this when the flowers have all fell off, hasn't it? Don Louise says, uh, Carol, when you've crumb coated a cake and you don't have room in the fridge, what can you do? Uh, store it in a, in a box. Store it in a box in a cool place. Right, so we've got that one there. That's fine. Okay. Between coats, does she mean? Not, not... Yeah. Right, I'm not sure. Do you want to pass me out my um, flowers, Simon? So um, I'm just trying to think now what pipe and pack I might need. Oh, here we go. These were made earlier. These ones? Yeah, the ones I've been in the freezer. The bigger ones? Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be super. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to... Oops. <laughs> My cake's cold, that cold, the buttercream's not sticking to it. Girls, I need another little piping bag. I need another little piping bag. Where is it? Piping bag. There they are. Just a little tiny novel in scissors. There we go. Crikey, I've made a right mess on here, aren't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll be fine. Bit of the crumbs off the uh, the cake, this, but it won't matter. Add to the bark effect. Right. So I should have painted these. Schoolgirl error again. So um, what I'll do is I'll paint them afterwards. So that you lot don't have to suffer watching me painting these. I hope you like it. So what number did you use for the green grass up the sides? It was a, a it was a, the green grass at the side, it was a 74 tip. 74 tip, Tracy. Yeah. So let me get some smaller ones on here. Now they melt very quickly these, so make sure you just get them off quickly and get them on, on the cake. That's why you need to get your blobs on very quickly. So I know it's coming up winter and cherry blossoms are not in the winter, but I never get it right, do I? You know what I'm like. <laughs> but this was in my class with last week. They said we were talking about flowers, and they yeah. said, "Oh, can you do cherry blossoms on the live on Monday?" Yeah, yeah, go on, and we do those little flowers. Which of a clever one was that? Let's have a word with her in class later. I think I'll be watch the live to find out who it was. <laughs> so just sit them on top of well, each other. Well, they're it's looking fabulous. They love it. Yeah. So I should have put some painted some little dots on it. So you know I've gone for my usual rustic look. I don't worry about sharp edges, me. It's not something I want to worry about if I'm really honest. I think life's far too short than me worrying about a sharp edge. So I'm quite happy that my rustic look will do. And I've never had anyone complain either. So they all like it. They always go, wow. So uh now, Breda said it's summer in Japan. Oh, is it? Right. So well, I knew it was summer go. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter's just getting the spring in Australia. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where I'm imagining yeah. I am. Yeah. So, Donna Louise says, she's sorry. She, she says, when you've done a crumb coat, can you do the next layer straight away or do you have to chill it? No, chill it. Even if she's not got the fridge, with the Swiss, leave it with, in a cool place. With the Swiss meringue buttercream, yeah, chill it. Um, if you haven't got a fridge, it's a bit difficult because... 
Depends on how what the temperature is of your house. It is better if you just chill it though. With the Swiss meringue buttercream, with normal buttercream, you don't have to chill. Oops, sugar. I found the culprit. Who was it? It was Sue Mary. She said was it was it? me, so thank you for doing <laughs> that. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got flowers on there. I'm gonna have to sit down again. Oops. Let's go around the other side. So let's just go around that side for you. some of these bigger ones on. Have we got another tray of these, Simon? Did we do a few more with the dots on? I think we did, don't we? Don't get them out yet. Um. Are they in the freezer, the other tray? Just make sure they're in the freezer. Because these are softening up now. No, the, the, the ones with dots on are in the fridge. Get them in the freezer quickly fast as you can. What we'll do is we'll do the draw. Yeah. And then, uh, right, where's that little mini palette knife of mine? It's uh, Elizabeth Lethem Moss says, it's looking fab. I don't do sharp edges either. Uh, she likes them round and soft like her. Yeah, exactly how I like them as well. Good girl. That's the way I look at it as well. So, uh, just pulling these off now. So you do have to be quick with these because when they come out the freezer they do soft. Once they're on the cake they're absolutely fine but for you for fiddling around with so uh, for fiddling around with you want to get them off quickly. That's where this little palette knife comes in handy again. I'll just stick that under there. I might have to put these in the freezer they're going soft now. Yep. Sam, you'll have to put those in the freezer, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, what? It's, I, can, I can hear his brain going, the freezer again. Hey. <laughs> no, it's having to work tonight. Hey? Which ones, one which, one, which, ones was, which ones was the ones that's been... Get my words out. Which ones have been in there the longest? These ones. Right, good. Give us some. So a few of them. Yeah, that'll do. A few of these. These are not, co these are not coloured, but they'll do. Looks fab, Carol. As usual, you've pulled it off. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that was Helen Miles. Oh, thanks, Helen. <laughs> uh, I haven't done my dot dots, but I won't bore you with the dot dots. I'll do them after. So let's just uh, get a few more on here. They look nice, don't they? It looks quite pretty. Really I think pretty. anybody who gets it will be really happy with it. There we go. So let me just, um, let me get another leaf tip out, which is my new one that I really like. Um, where's it gone now? 67 one. There it is. This one does like ruffles, this one. So, um, let's just, uh, just, just take a few of these away. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Can you see that on the camera? Yeah, so this one is the 67, so it's quite nice this for doing ruffles. And you can just do a few on your board as well. Yeah, I think that's it. That is really so, uh, that. I don't know, it, I don't think, does cherry blossom have leaves on it? I don't know. Yeah. Do no. they? Yeah. What type of leaves would it have on it? It has, it has just what I call normal leaves. Yeah. Right, okay then. I'll go to you two, the professionals. It's like you said, let me garden cherry or some tree. 
Yeah, I think I've got one out there actually. I'll just, uh, I'll just do some little leaves on it. Yeah, Geraldine Allen's made a new word. I think she's, she said, as usual, you've wanged it. Wanged it, yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, anybody who watches me on a regular basis, it's all about having to go. I'm all about you lot just playing in the kitchen, just like me. You've got your kit, you've got your tools, like what the hell are you going to do with it? And that, that's how I am really, what we're going to do with it. I've been doing it a while now, so I've got a better idea than you lot now, but and I'm not creative enough to think of any, any real designs. So uh, so that's why we never know what we're gonna, what it's going to look like. The 67 <laughs> is Carol's new best friend. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I've shown them in the, flat, in the group. You see, and I, I love leaves on the end there. You can just, you can just hide all those sharp Absolutely. edges. Lindsay McKay, you've got a very creative mind, Carol. And they all absolutely love it. I must admit, it looks really, really good. Let's just put a few there. I'll wait till the... Makes the... me yearn for summer again. <laughs> yeah. I never saw summer this year. Right. Um, right, Simon, do you think they're frozen now in the freezer? Yeah. Yeah, they don't take long to freeze, do they? A couple of those, and we'll do the, then we'll do, oh, I need to finish my little, um, were they in the freezer? They were. Were they the last ones in the freezer? Pop those in. Right, so these are going to look better on these it's now. musical trays and singing too. <laughs> we'll have to put some on with the dots on, won't I? That I spent dotting about. Well, there's only room for two trays in the freezer. Yeah, I know, it was a bit of a, so then just put some little blobs up, so there we go, and I'll some of these on there, we'll just stick the ones with the dots on, so that you think I've dotted them all, we're fibbing really, but who cares, so we'll just put some of them on, got some small ones here, there we go, and then the love that's coming through here for you, Carol. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Lisa Miles Darcy says, We all keep coming back, Carol, so you're getting something right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's but, good for you to learn. Do you know what? I get hundreds of emails every week of people saying, Carol, I just love watching you in the kitchen. I've learned so much. And you know, when COVID was on, I was there all the time. I've been there anyhow, every Monday and Thursday. I'm always there on Facebook, ready to answer your questions. How many of you do I phone? How many of you do Because it's easier for me to phone. Because when I write a text, maybe, I don't know what happens. How many of you write a text and when you send it, it's gobbledygook? Absolutely. I've wrote some texts and can't believe I've wrote them. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm a rubbish speller, but my goodness. No, I've noticed my phone as well. It's predictive text is coming out all the time. Yeah. The I wrote something the other day, it, was just, it didn't even, it don't, don't even know what it said, but it was a, I thought I chose a different language. So doesn't that look good, that, that looks good, that doesn't that quite, I'm actually quite happy with that myself, if I'm really honest. I might have said I've won this one myself quite well, so. Uh, well, Geraldine said, she's, it's been decided, you wing it whilst it's a work in progress, but you've wanged it when it's done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, so let's just put another one there. And then just... towards the cake looks fantastic, Queen of the Wing in it. Absolutely, thank you, ladies. It looks lovely, and everyone is loving it, and they have love arts coming Aww. through. You've got a torrent of them. I might as well get a few more of these dotty ones on, put a few more leaves on, then I'll do the draw. So, uh, and then I'll let you all go bed. It looks like I'm up for an early dark. Karen's not with me tomorrow, so. Uh, um, I'm going to turn it before I go anyway. Oh, yeah. You've been here all day, Don't girl. Want, so I'm going to put the, wash, put, the, put the washing machine on again. I'm going to put the dishwasher on and make sure it's tidy. Right, OK. Put the last one on. She's good, isn't she? See, that's what I can say about my staff. Every single one, isn't it, Karen? Isn't yeah. every good member of staff brilliant? Absolutely. I, lo I love my team. They love me. We don't have any baddies. We don't have any pet bad pennies in here. We get rid of them. Maybe an eight <laughs> an eight there behind behind camera. Hey. An eight behind the camera. <laughs> you know I'm only joking with you. Oh, we love Simon. <laughs> hey. Drives us friggin' mad, but we love him. What would we do without him? We have no one to no one to pick on. No. <laughs> he loves it anyhow. 
You made a special T-shirt for the buttercream flowers girls last week, didn't you, Simon? <laughs> you wearing it tomorrow? Wasn't that the bouquet? Oh, it was the bouquet group, yeah. Oh, you'll have to wait for the buttercream flower girls tomorrow. They may not have seen it then. It's in the wash. Right. right, that's it. I'm going to stop mucking around with this cake now. Well, that right, lovely. so that's that one. Let's finish off getting these on here now. Because I think, oh, right. Can you get them out of the freezer, Simon? Sunflowers. Oh, goodness me. What do we think? That looks all right, well, doesn't it? You have had about a million love hearts. And it's not here. smooth. It's rustic, isn't it? It's, it's what rustic. we want. We don't care. It's I rustic. Because it it's 3D. And if your cherry blossom has gone over the side of the cake as well, it's yeah. really nice. Yeah. So we're just going to stick these little so the sunflowers on. The pink, the pink on. boards are £110, pound, ladies. Yeah, they are. And if you want one, phone 0161 393 5056. Phone Laura in the morning. They're there from 7 o'clock. Mind you, they might not appreciate your phone now at 7. Does the reds in. So <laughs> maybe phone them after 9 when they've had a couple of co cups of coffee. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm just twisting this round here, putting these little sunflowers on that we did on your macarons. Now, to be fair, girls, you'll want to do one of these for photographs and then you'll never want to do them again. <laughs> That's my feelings on the subject. <laughs> After you've got arm ache and everything else, but they do need to come out of the freezer and go straight on. And you need loads of them, especially if you do big giant macarons like this that Karen did. I didn't think she was going to do these big ones. Well, just, you know, when I was watching the macaron class last week, I thought, Ooh. Yeah, the macaron class was brilliant. Who did the macaron class with Claire Corbett? If you want to learn how to do macarons, seriously, go and join that macaron class. And we did advise everybody not to do it on the day, to watch and listen and learn. And the amount of people that came back and said that was the best advice ever. It was brilliant. And she shows you how to do brush embroidery, royal icing. She makes royal icing with the whipping it up, which is what the whipping it up started out to be, to be fair. Right, okay, so let's get my cover on that. Woohoo! There we go. Absolutely how pretty is that? This one here, I put too much buttercream in the middle. Wait, well, it's all right, I'll eat that one later. Yeah. <laughs> but doesn't that look pretty, that? Oh, brilliant. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Right, okay then, so let's Price do draws. the draw. Hey, I draw, no, got to give me a few people a bit tired now. Hey, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> well, stay here and clean up. Jackie said she did the macaron class, it was fab. It was fab, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, okay then, so. Uh, Right. Okay, just one second. I need sugar and crumbs and anything else. I can't find them now at the moment. Oh, I can't. Um, let me just see. Let me go in another way. One second. I went direct in on the page and it's brought the live up. Can you see the little live there? <laughs> so I have to go past that one, buzz off. Right, so Karen, we're going back to, um, not last Friday, it was, what did we do? So let me just see. Friday was the class. Friday we did a class, yep. So what are we drawing for? Are you drawing, are you drawing for? Well, we've got Cicely Sutherland, so that's yeah. one. Ollie the chalk, Ollie the chalk, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. You're right, I'm down, Simon. Right, yeah, you write the one that's down. Right, your cherry bake wells, that's where we've got on to start the Friday, off. What, vegan on the cherry Friday, bake, on yes. the Friday morning, yeah. So we did the live up until we did all the draws up till Thursday night, yes. and then it's this one yeah. on the Friday. So 118 shares. So let's get these up, up, up. Keep going because you have to keep flicking up. Helen Mills, well, well done. done. In fact, it's a bit, it's a bit of an hard one because Paula Brown's underneath. But I'm going to go for where my biggest finger is. Sorry, but it's Helen M uh, Miles. Helen I always Miles. call her Mills. Helen Miles. So you've won a twenty-five pound voucher. Sorry, Paula. 
Sorry, Viv, she's underneath and Sicily's there. Right, okay then. So that is for... Are you writing this down, Simon? Yeah. So that's for the Helen vegan... Miles. Helen Miles. for the vegan cherry bakewell. Okay, so... Then we're going to go up then. It's for Ollie the Chock, isn't it? So oh, there Monday. is. That was Monday. Oh, yeah. That was Monday, yeah. Oh, it was Monday, was it? Monday, yeah. Monday morning. No, because no, it was lives last week. Well, we had a clip. We didn't have any lives during the day last week. So... Get this up so this is all there was no daytime lives last week because we had classes every day so um there's class what we're drawing for is now we've done the thursday before which is what friday morning before because we was up to the thursday and if you've already if you win tonight already you can't win twice so let me just load these up they just take a little minute to load up and then we have to go down again and then up again and then down again because he was doing, he did, then, the, he did the chocolate lollies, didn't he? Yeah. Right. So Jane, Jane Hollis McNally, and Donna Louise Andrews has just missed it. So my finger was on the bit on the biggest part there, which is Jane Hollis McNally. So she's won a twenty-five pound voucher. So sorry, but my finger was more on that one. So it's a bit hard one to do. So that's the winner for Ollie the Chalk. And then what did we do on Thursday? On Thursday it was um, Sicily. Sicily, yeah, that's it. So Sicily. So oh, here we go. No, we don't include shows. Tracy Mann in any of the draws. No, because Tracy but Tracy Mann's advertising her own business. So she's just using our platform, so we don't include them in the draws. So let me draw this up in a minute. Get it up. You have to keep pinging it up to keep getting them all up. Because you'll see they start. Does that come up then? So there's more coming up now. Right, so it's stopped. So I go for the one that's got my finger on the most. Nutty Elaine. <laughs> well done, Nutty Elaine. So Debbie Hargreaves, you just messed up, but it was on Nutty Elaine there. So well done, Nutty Elaine. So that's all the draws done there. They're all done. We've got three of them done. Nutty Elaine, you're won a £25 gift voucher. All you've got to do is ring the office 0161 393 5056 or email info dot sugar and crumbs at icloud.com uh, at icloud.com and then tell them which draw you want so there's free prize draws there and just let them know and they'll send you they'll email you back a voucher code for you to use yeah so i think that's it then isn't it so well, got anything else to say no they said they've all said well done to all the winners and they think your cake and the macarons are absolutely Aww, brilliant your thank flowers you very much. are amazing Super. So I'll see you girls on Buttercream Flowers in the private group tomorrow, half past 11. Um, it's just Simon and I, unless Antonia joins us for comments. Karen's not here. And then I, we've got no other classes this week, have we, Karen? No. Nope. Um, I think it start, they start again soon. But um, I think we've got two classes next week. Buttercream yes. Flowers, Nifty Nozzles, haven't we? Yes. And then it goes on. But then, so it's tomorrow. Then we're back in here Thursday night with my daughter, Laura, doing marshmallows and fudge. And Laura's always great to have in the kitchen. You'll always enjoy having her in the kitchen. And then on Friday, Karen is vegan baking. What do you say? What are you doing? Bacon chocolate brownies. Brownies. Yeah, yeah, vegan chocolate brownies. brownies. Good. So we'll see you then. All right, then. Cheerio. Bye. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Karen. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.